They don't actually deep fry the Pepsi. Hold they on, we're getting on another cake. tangent. Do we want to start? <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. I got to finish the story. They don't actually deep fry Pepsi. Pepsi. What they do is they take a cake and they soak it in Pepsi and deep fry that. But that they call it deep fried Pepsi. And I'm like, that is a lie. That is false advertisement. That is not deep fried Pepsi. That's not what I think of when you say deep fried Pepsi. Do you Americans ever consider not deep frying? No. What are you saying? How right could you suggest something? <laughs> I don't understand. I've American. never heard anything less patriotic in my life, Amer <laughs> uh, America. I'm talking to Americans right now. America! <laughs> This Israelian is coming over here and telling us we should not deep fry our corn dog Pepsis. Did you call him an Israelian? Israelian. Yeah. <laughs> Israeli. It, 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 it is an, an Israeli alien. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Anime Club After Dark, the podcast that delves into all things anime, manga, and otaku culture related. I'm your host, Alex, but you can call me Senpai. And joining me tonight, I've got the whole crew. I've got our czar of source material, John. Is Natai supposed to be on the left? Uh, it's just been so yeah, long since I, I don't remember which side he's, he's usually, actually supposed to be on. He's usually under me, like the sub he is. Oh, I don't want to be under you. <laughs> don't don't say that. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm gonna ask John to cut that out later in post. -production. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix it in post. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we have our poster extraordinaire in a tie uh, in his brand new so place. We're still yes. unpacking. It's fine. It's fine. It has bare white walls behind him. <laughs> There's like a, a big ass flag up above me, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not fucking the camera anymore. A pride I'm flag. Done. It's a uh, kind of yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. Uh, uh, and w I don't actually have a doc that gives a, a nickname, but there's Chinoda. Hello, I'm eating <laughs> cheese puffs. I got a we nickname can see that. for him. Gaffer Supreme. What? <laughs> Bro. Oh, Fluffers. No, that's Bro. not the name. Fuck, that's not the name. <laughs> no, Gaffer. What is like Gaffer? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dude, he messed it up. We got to scrap the entire recording. Right. Wow. He messed Start it up. We were doing, and Ty, we were doing so good, and then you just, you, you appear on the podcast, and it fucked it all up. <laughs> yeah, go back to obscurity, man. Okay, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading out. Hi, right, I'm uh, a head out. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the four of us have gotten together tonight to uh, do another episode of the podcast. This one is actually another one that was uh, recommended or suggested by a member of our Discord server, uh, Classy Ulysses, uh, who always comes through Clutch in our Discord server, suggested Clutchy that we Ulysses. do this. Uh, well, I will say he suggested we do a top 50. It's actually going to be a uh, top 64 uh, bracket. I have gone and found the top 64 most favorited female characters on my anime list. I have put them together in a bracket. I have sort of pseudo seeded them as best I can. Um, I had to move some things around manually just to make sure there weren't characters from the exact same show going up against each other in round one. But uh, it is mostly seeded. Um, and we're going to put them together head to head tonight. So, uh, are you guys ready for the waifu war? Let's oh, yeah. Go. Oh, uh, have we, I'm ready haven't for we done a waifu war before, though? <sighs> if if we have, it's been a long time. I think we brought our own waifus to the fight that time, right? I, I remember us doing a bracket, a tournament style bracket thing before. I don't I don't know. It's been a while. Anyway, it was, it was for the was... top Mel, like, like uh, anime shows. I think, right? Oh, oh yeah, we did the anime shows. We didn't actually do the waifus. Yeah, yeah, we no, did the okay. shows, not waifus. Now, I think we have done, like, I think we did a, a tier list of female characters at some point. I think, maybe. I don't remember. I have to I go look that up. Yeah, that every time someone says female, I just think, like, you're an incel. Like, <laughs> female. Female. <laughs> like, well, when I tell them girls, it's like, okay, that's juvenile. Women? Okay, but to you be know fair, even, even half of the girls on this list are actually under the age of 18. It's true. So... There's, a lot of, <laughs> there's a shocking amount of... You can, I, always, I, I, go, I, you can always go full and so be like, madams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 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 Whammy. Milady. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it here. If only you had yeah. a fedora. 
Um, I do want to point out, uh, for anyone who's watching this far into the future, uh, the top 64 characters that I drew from is from the uh, most favorited characters list as of July 13th, 2024. Um, so also, if it has changed since then, I, I'm sorry, it's, it's out of date. <laughs> also, quick sidebar, I think it's safe to assume we can recommend our listeners to check out the video. Yes. Podcast so yeah, for, for the people... For the people who typically listen to the audio-only version of our podcast on Spotify, uh, first of all, thank you for doing so. We love all of our, our listeners and or watchers. But there is an obvious uh, video component to this. Um, you can actually see the bracket. You can see the characters uh, that we're talking about going head-to-head. -head. So um, I highly recommend watching the uh, video version on YouTube. Alternatively, you our hosts should, you know, say their full name <laughs> and what show they're from. <laughs> yes. Uh, I will attempt to do that. Uh, no guarantees that people won't immediately start talking over me when they see these characters on screen. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> I'll make it my goal and mission. Yeah. Now, that that being said, there are a couple of these characters that I have never actually seen the, the anime that they're from, and I will have to look up their fucking name, <laughs> or you all will have to tell me, because I genuinely can't remember some of these characters' names. Uh, but anyway, shall we begin? Yes. Sure. All right. Here we go. Uh, and we're just going to go uh, in order, and we have the, the uh, matchup mode on uh, bracket fights. So uh, our first matchup is between Kurisu from Steins Gate and Mio from Kaon. Easy. All right. Easy vote. Easy. Like, mm. why would you ever vote for a bitch who got her strawberries stolen, huh? <laughs> She's strawberryless. Think about God. this, fellas. All right. Over here, we got Christina, man. She'll Christina. touch your gel banana. She will touch your gel banana, bro. She will touch the gel banana. That's all I got to say. Bro, Carisha, she'll, she'll, she'll touch, <laughs> she'll touch she your heart, She will go too. on 4chan and will she talk shit for you. <laughs> she, oh will, God, she will. <laughs> she will. She 100% will. Um, yeah, as much as I love Kaon, uh, Mio, I'm sorry, but I gotta choose Christina. The only yeah. thing I remember about Mio is that she got her strawberry stolen. That's legit all I remember. <laughs> what does she even play? The guitar? Is that like the Event Horizon for Kaon? The strawberry getting stolen? Like yeah, yes, strawberry yes, strawberry. yes. <laughs> Actually, you're not even wrong. It it legitimately is. All right, so are we all in agreement? Kurisu. Yeah. Kurisu, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Our next matchup, Rim from ReZero versus uh, Yui from K-On. All right. Um, Rim's not even best girl in her own show, so I'm going to have to vote Yui. Wow. We <laughs> and Yui is the best girl in her own show. <laughs> Yui is the best girl in her own show. What's so great about Yui? Listen, she goes she... into the light music club. She doesn't know a thing about fucking playing the guitar. And by the end of it, she becomes an expert guitar player. Guys, listen, listen. that's nice and all, but Rem's touched my Kokoro, so mm. she ha she has me. Oh, she you just want to touch her Kokoros, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's Listen, it's, 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 even, it's in her own, again. even in her own spin-off manga, she gets cucked. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> he's not wrong he's not wrong i'm not uh, talking about what happens to her i'm talking about her as a person i love her okay we're not judging the anime over here john you gotta listen that. she's in love with subaru she's got shit take she got shit taste shit takes she's just l's all around brother yui I mean, look at her hair. It's blue hair. You know she's going to lose. That's true. <laughs> the curse, the That's true. If I, if I see some blue that hair, fight. that means she's possibly crazy. I love that shit. <laughs> bro, she got blue hair. She could be an SJW, bro. What you doing? Fuck, no. <laughs> or, or, or it can even, John, it can even be worse. I mean, she doesn't have it, thankfully. But if she had blue hair and the mom haircut, she's fucked. Oh, God. In more ways than one. Uh, yeah. Natai, what's your vote? I mean, John got it with her being a loser, and I like her, <laughs> but I, I can't fight with that logic. I like, I like her. So are we, uh, Yui? Sure. Yui yeah. wins. It's Yui. I'll give you Yui. Yui. All right. 
Here we go. Uh, this matchup. Hitagi Sinjigahara Easy. from Monogatari versus Nino Nakano from the Quintessential Quintuplets. Not Listen, so quintessential right. anymore, bitch. <laughs> let, me, let me just say my piece before we make the obvious choice here, all right? Nino, I love you, girl. All right? You're actually best girl, except you're not because it's actually Miku. But <laughs> I was about to say she's, she fucking drugged the main character like the fuck. Hey, oh, hey. I just want to I just want to say this pains me to say this, but your sister is better. But you're still a good girl. You know I hope you find someone Literally else. Literally all her sisters are better than her. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, whoa, hold on now. Whoa. Hold on. Literally, now. I don't know about I'm, that. No, Chidota, you <laughs> usually have shit takes. I'll co-sign that on this one particular occasion. <laughs> oh fuck! I got co-signed. <laughs> All I'm saying is, it's a damn shame her. that you had to come up with one of the top four, uh, go or go up against one of the top four uh, waifus on this list, because goddamn, is Senjo Gar just like top tier? Like, let's go. She's gonna steamroll this competition for a while, I have a feeling. <laughs> I need mean, in her bracket, most likely. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. I, I think this is pretty unanimous, right, Shinoda? Yeah, yeah. I mean. Obviously. I haven't even watched it that <laughs> much. <laughs> See, it. here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. You haven't watched Monogatari, but I know you're familiar with at least a couple of the memes of her. Oh, more than just the memes, bro. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Don't do her dirty like that. All She's right. a dirty gal. What are you talking about? <laughs> Our next matchup is a matchup of pink hair. Zero uh, two from Darling in the Franks versus Anya from Spy Family. I'm I'm mega biased. I love Anya. Um, I was just looking at the game that just uh, released like last month or two months ago. Have you played it? For the Switch? No. Yeah. Uh, I haven't played it because like it's a fifty dollar game, and I'm like, this God. is maybe this is maybe fifteen dollars worth of content, if that. Like, I don't know about paying for it, but it God does damn. look super cute, and I'm just like, God, Anya's so cute. I I actually just recently rewatched uh, Spy X Family season one, um, mm. just not too long ago, just because I was bored. And I was like. I'm just going to rewatch season one. I was like, God, I love Anya. She's so cute. It's uh, a it, truly Spy X family is Shinzo Abe's way to get them to make <laughs> some more kids in Japan. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, no hate against zero point. two, but like your show sucked. Uh, Trigger, what the hell happened back you there? Just like, you just made the, the case <laughs> for him as a character and not her show. <laughs> Fuck you. I know, but hypocrite. I'm just saying on top of. He's a hypocrite. I'm, of course I'm a hypocrite. Like what? I'm on. I'm, I give anime opinions. It's, what type of Anyan opinion giver doesn't and, is Anyan not opinion? a hypocrite? Anyan? What type of Anyan opinion? Anyan. <laughs> anime opinion giver. <laughs> an Anyan. We're off to a great An Anyan. An anime opinion. An Anyan. An Anyan. <laughs> Bro, remember for when, me this is when, for me this is easy. Remember when Darling the Franks came out and everyone were up zero to his ass? I mean, I mean, no judge, but literally, <laughs> no judging. But I mean, I love. Could, uh, I can't blame people for being up her ass because even in the show, that's like the perspective that it's all drawn yeah. in anyway. Absolutely. <laughs> like, like, yes, don't get me wrong. this is how I pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love my dino waifus. What's your Sam Pally <laughs> I love my dino waifu, but Anya's just such a cutie pie. I love her. She's so adorable. Must protect. Number exactly. one rank. What if... What, exactly. he, hear me out. Now hear me out. What if, like, for some reason, like, hypothetically, Spy X family just shits the bed, like, in a later season? Would this change, like, your opinion of this fight? No. Probably no, not. Because no, because Anya's still adorable. <laughs> Yeah, Anya is still an, an adorable character. Um, and the reason stuff with Spike's family is like pretty good. I've been keeping up with the manga. Do you think the manga is worth watching? Because I've genuinely considered giving it a shot. I think reading? it's worth reading. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is reading if not just watching with your eyes, bro? Come on. Right, what did I, oh, did I say watching? I didn't even <laughs> yeah. pay attention. Um, do you think? Do you think the manga is worth picking up? <laughs> I think so, just because I like the source material. I think it's got it's got it's a very strong source material. It's good stories and stuff like that. Especially in the uh, the latest things right now that Sakamoto Days and Spike's family is doing is like it's more of a serious storyline about like people's past, and it's just mm -hmm. like oh shit, like oh where's all the the feel good like oh this is funny feel good type of show? It's like oh man, I'm feeling kind of depressed. Oh they're they're talking about war. Oh man. Like I, I think in season two they did the episode about uh, Handler and like her past and stuff, mm. and it's just like that, just like oh, breaks my heart. But it's like it's 
it's kind of funny because in shows like this, it has like a, it seems on the outside to be a very happy, fun, like just slice of life show. But then it's like, here's this tragic shit that happened in the background that they don't really talk about too much, but you don't <laughs> give you hints and pieces of it. And it's just like, wow, that really fucking sucks. Like, I, you know, your really... and, um, Yuri, is that her younger Yuri, brother's yeah. name? Yeah. Yuri. Yuri. Yeah. Yeah. Like their backstory of like, you know, they were orphans orphan during the war. Um, and then there's, um, uh, Oh my God, Lloyd. 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 Lloyd's backstory of like he was also Shush. orphaned during the war. <laughs> they show it Cease. in the um. Oh yeah, what? in the beginning. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. they show oh, it. Uh, like he, he talks about it. Like that's why he wants to make sure there's a world without any orphans. And it's just like they show these like small sad backstories. They actually yeah, go like deeper into uh, Lloyd's backstory too later. Uh, it should happen in season three, which I'm excited for because I'm like, oh man, people are gonna be like, oh damn, Lloyd, just like needs a hug, bro. Anyway, yeah. uh, I, I vote Anya just because purely Anya. just Same. Sh- her herself is really cute. Like, I just like her a lot. Peanuts. <laughs> Peanuts. All right. Uh, next matchup is uh, Shinobu from Monogatari versus Nami from One Piece. My beloved. <clears throat> Sorry, Which what? one? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, depends on the form. Both. <laughs> Now, to be I... fair, to be fair, Mal does not make the distinction between adult Shinobu and lowly Shinobu. So know, okay, because I, I was about to say like kiss shot a hundred percent. Shinobu, shot. I'm like, eh, you know. According to okay. Mal, it's all the same characters. So I guess if you want to take the, the as a whole, kiss shot is oh. <laughs> kiss shot, perfection. So, they're completely different personalities. Like I don't feel like that's fair. They should be different, but I don't think they're that different in terms of personality. Demeanor, the crazy yes. thing is they're voiced by the same person. Yeah, that is true. Now, um, I don't like Nami too much uh, because I think there are better women characters inside of One Piece, like uh, Robin. <laughs> I, I like Robin. Her past is so more. good. What do you mean? Yes, I I agree, but I'm pretty sure so good. <laughs> but I got it. I have to give it to Shinobu just because, like, I. On one hand, I also like uh, Monogatari a lot more than I like One Piece. Oh, yeah. I am biased, uh, but I also just like uh, Kiss Shot's backstory and stuff. Like Nami, not, Nami's not bad, but you know, She's Shinobu's great, just even. better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I, so, so definitely Shinobu and more an extension of that Kiss Shot is definitely like my pick. But don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. I love Nami as well a, a whole lot. I love her character and her backstory is like really tragic and. It, really really heartbreaking it's great but yeah i love them both is is there any is there anyone that doubts my choice here (laughs) the guy who hates one piece oh he's not gonna vote for the one piece character yeah listen even if even if i liked one piece and i liked the character of nami look at it why why would i not choose shinobu look i'm just saying the entire straw hat crew has really good backstories right like especially like uh what's all great characters yeah they're all great characters like brooke's backstory i was like yo yo ho i'm I'm crying right now bro like it's killing me like what the hell so who are we going with yeah shinobu shinobu yeah yeah yeah. all right all right uh next we have taiga from toradora versus oh my god i can never remember name it's the deaf girl from asylum boys you can do it Nish- Nishimiya? Nishimiya is the male male. No, Nishimiya is no, the guy. The male right? character. I, Bro, you made this bl- list. You would have to know their name to look at- Why didn't you have it oh all pulled God. up? What are you doing? I I listen. Oh wait, is it Nishim Hold on. No, I'm no I'm no I'm not sure if it's the it's her yeah, name or not. Nishimiya was the guy, right? Shoko no, Nishimiya, you. I was fucking oh, right. God, Fuck it. you all. Oh, God, damn it. <laughs> All right, uh, Taiga versus uh, Nishimiya. All right, listen, I'm I'm clearly biased here. Yeah, you're gonna go uh, Taiga. We all know you're gonna go Taiga. Before you I proceed, have... John. Before you proceed, you're gonna agree with me on that. She's not even the best girl in her own show. I agree, but I am biased because Taiga is voiced by Rie Kugamiya, one of my all-time <laughs> favorite voice actresses of all time. 
okay? With that being said, and how much I do like Toradora, she isn't best girl in her own show. And honestly, if I'm being, like, 100% real right now, I think Nishimiya is a way better, like, girl, <laughs> protagonist girl for her series. <laughs> she I would like actually to enhances... <laughs> She actually enhances the uh her counterpart versus just like kind of just take away like Taiga does. <laughs> just say it. Like don't get me wrong, I love Toradora, fantastic rom com. I love uh the the couples in it and stuff, but I, I got to give it to Silent Voice, bro. I got to. Okay. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Like I'm with you on just... this too. Like as much as I love Toradora and I li- I actually love the character of Taiga, I'm going with Nishimiya. So tragic. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Cause... I love I love Nishimiya, but I'm I'm in the tank top tiger uh tank top tank top, uh, pop, tank top, pop, top, top tiger tom, tom. <laughs> tank top, top tiger tank top tiger. <laughs> He's been reading Rawr. too much One Punch Man. <laughs> Bro, there hasn't been any new chapters in so long. I'm starving. Yeah, I know. No. What the heck? What the hell, Murata? Uh no. Uh Palm Top Tiger Club. Uh, I love her. Like I will be the dissenting woke. That's okay. Uh, you know what? It's, it's fine. She's so You're... iconic. Yeah, like it's well, it, especially in terms of Sundrays. <laughs> yeah, that too. No, man, I've just realized if Soon watches this, he's gonna be heartbroken that we fucking eliminated a Sundere. <laughs> Bro, he we He'll said Itagi, okay. which is like the greatest Sundere of all time. <laughs> That's true. All right, our Ugh. next matchup is Yuno Gasai from Future Diary versus Ryuko from uh, Kill Kill. Kill. Thank you. Yukio Matoy. All right. Matoy. Before Natai. Do we really have to talk? Before Natai goes into his spiel, I just wanted to give a shout out to my girl, Yuno Gasai. All right. She has literally crossed worlds to be with the one she loves. <laughs> and can we all just agree that we all hope to have that type of woman in our life? All right, fellas. Can we all be in agreement about that? A, a little less homicidal, but yes. <laughs> I mean, I could take it or leave it. I just want to give props <laughs> to my girl, Yuno Gasai, okay? She deserves she... no props. Her <laughs> boyfriend is a prop. That's all That's all the props. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, look, but we're not rating the boyfriend. Look, look. I'm Fuck just her. saying, give me the looks of Ryoko, the homicidal mania of Yuno, and we're good. No. Get her away from me. <laughs> but <Fuck> no. <laughs> Burn it. But yeah, no, I, I'm I'm 100 voting for uh, Ryoko just because like I think she's a better character overall. Um, you know that bitch be crazy. Like <laughs> she crazy, bro. There are even bro, <laughs> she's right. not even the best bitches be crazy character on this bracket. Yeah, I promise. I don't even think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think Yuno Gasai is a very well known Yandere. Uh, probably has oh, yeah. popularized Yandere's to a huge crowd of anime watchers. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think she's like the best Yandere. She's the virgin no. boys Yandere. <laughs> <laughs> she, is. She, she is. She's the incels Yandere. <laughs> oh my God. I wouldn't go that far, but sure. Actually, no, she wouldn't be the incels Yandere because she, she fucks. She has sex. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a virgin. So she, the incels don't want her. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, Rikyo is just like she's a strong character. Um, she she fights for justice. All right, Fellas, justice. Like... <laughs> yeah, Easy pick. Uh, I yeah. gotta I gotta go I gotta go with uh, with Ryuko as well. Um, yep. Not just because I'm a trigger fanboy, and not just because I absolutely adore Kill a Kill, but between these two, I think she's a much better character, a much it's more entertaining character to watch. So we all in agreement. Yeah. yeah, easy pick. Okay, easy. sweet. All right, next, uh, two legacy characters. We oh, have. Ooh. This Ak- is the greatest tsunder of all time. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This we actually have, is. <laughs> we have Asuka from Neon Genesis Evangelion versus Lane from Serial Experiments Lane. I was surprised that Lane was as highly rated as she was. Yeah, I remember uh, looking at the list and I was talking to Alex. And I was like, is that is that Lane from Serial Experiments Lane? He's like, yeah. I'm like, who who rated her highly <laughs> what you don't watch your experiments lane you go you know what i love lane she's a great <laughs> character 
anyway, I mean, uh, you you watch Serial Experiments Lane and say, "Wow, that was kind of a, an interesting story," but you don't come away with like, "Wow, Lane was a really great character." Yeah, I don't. My takeaway from Serial Experiments Lane is not that Lane was a good character. <laughs> it was that, "Wow, what the fuck did I just watch?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, I, I original Sundari, like, I, how can you beat her? I mean, look at her; she's you perfection. Can. What? <laughs> I mean, Bless the not, not to not not to um actually you, John, but she's not the original Sundari. That belongs to JoJo's. Does it? Araki created the very first Sundari in no, part four. No, you're he created the first Yandere with uh, Yukako. Not the first. Oh, Sundere. that's right. Yeah, that's you're thinking right. about Yandere, it's not Sundere's. That's right. I, that's, sorry, excuse me. I'm trying to think. Now I'm trying to think. She might not Asuka be the first the Sundere, first but I think she's like the, the, the staple. She's not Sundere the staple anymore. Sundere. Yeah, she's, she's, yeah. The, she's, like the, she's like the Giga Sundere, like the, the Uber no, Sundere. No, no, I think she was the first Sundere because in Isekai Oji-san, in now Isekai Oji-san, they make a point about how he doesn't know what a Sundere is because Ava hadn't come out yet. I swear. Oh my god, you're right. You're I right. swear. No, you're right. Oh. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. They actually he... made, pointed that out. No. I hold on. I just I just looked this up. No. Lum from Urusei Yatsura yeah, is listed here as the very Yatsura. first sin today. Oh, okay. Mm, and that's yeah. from 1979. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's no way Asuka is the first Sundere, but I mean, she she's probably like the she, most. She, she's probably the, the most one of the most popularized one, yeah. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. No, she is. <laughs> she is the most popular. So, I but mean, she's literally yeah, I, I would say I would say she might not be the first, but she's definitely like the poster child for Sundere. So, for this being a waifu bracket, I think it's very easy for Asuka to be the pick, right? Because yeah, who, yeah, who, yeah. For, who picks Lane as a waifu? Yeah, that's this is kind of no, weird, hey, right? But just kind of wait. Mean, I mean, wasn't if you're really depresso one... espresso, <laughs> wasn't there that one guy that hacked my anime list and just put like zero because he loves Lane so much that he he hacked uh, my anime real? list? Yes, I yeah, he was I remember down for like this. two days and he just put like Lane everywhere, like that's amazing <laughs> everywhere. I, I number one rated this animes are only serial experiments. Lane number one girl is all Lane, like. <laughs> I That's think it was him that voted her into this top 64, to be honest. I mean, maybe. <laughs> it was the do, one do you know guy. What that, do you know, what the, you know what that actually might have done? It might have gotten a lot of people to go watch Lane. It probably maybe. did, actually. <laughs> so are, are we all picking Asuka? Asuka. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sorry, Lane. I know, I know you're from a great show, but <laughs> go watch Serial Experiments Lane if you've never watched it. It's a great show. Classic. All right. I hate this. I hate this yeah. list thing. I hate. Why would you put my girl C two? What do you from mean? Code yes. Just C two against. This is not easy, bro. This is Mikoto not easy. Bidi Bidi. Misaki and Bidi Bidi from um Rail Dex. Oh Rail Dex. Uh, bro, only one likes pizza as much as you. And that's like C two. That. <laughs> right. I don't like pizza. Listen. But Cheese Coon is freaking cute, and I I feel like they should have done more collabs with Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, the original weeb uh, pizza deliverer. Just saying. The, the crazy but, thing for me is finding out that Cheese Coon actually predates Code Geass. Yeah, Cheese Coon was an actual like uh, a, 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 a mascot for mascot. Uh, for uh, Pizza Hut in Japan. Yeah, yeah. The pizza places in Japan just get way cooler collabs than anyone else. Like they they were the first ones to um, Domino's was the first ones to do the the Hatsune Miku collab. And I'm just like, man, I wish I had that. I would anyway. like to point out both of the anime that are represented here have had Pizza Hut collabs. That's funny. It's true. <laughs> was Rail Pizza Dex? Hut? I don't, I don't Pizza Hut in Japan Dex. actually came up with a bitty bitty pizza just for their collab. But wait, but was P Pizza Hut featured in the show? Because it no, was in no, Code Geass. No. no, it was not featured. But they did do a very prominent collab with Rail Dex when it was airing. So okay, try and convince me why C two isn't winning this round because I have no like, I have no. Oh idea no, why. I I was gonna say I was gonna preface again saying I am very biased. I have talked multiple times about how Code Geass is one of my favorite all time fan anime of all time, and I just love C two quite a lot. Uh, I think she's a really good character. Uh, tragic backstory, you know, she's the undying witch. Um, she will give you the Geass. You know, and then so the my fellas, ass? the gay, she will, the gay ass. They, she will give you the gay ass. Like, 
I like BD BD, okay, but one, she's underage, and two, like, yeah, she's a oh, cool. Oh, let sun- that stop you. <laughs> like, she's a cool sunere, but like, it, it, she's kind of nothing more than that. Like, I'd I'd rather watch Toma get along with literally anyone else other than uh, BD BD, like Misaka uh, Misaka Misaka. I don't know. I. I know that she's very popular in Japan. I understand that people like her because it's like, you know, Sundere and she's just like the Onesan, Onesama type, whatever it was. Uh, I, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm just very biased and I can't overcome this bias of why, how much I like C2 and Code Geass. I can't uh, yeah, logically fair. tell you why uh, C2 wouldn't win. Uh, for me, I, like, I, I like I, both of these franchises and I love both of these characters a lot. So for me, I both of them could win for me. I don't toss up. Look, I oh. love C2. I really do. She's great. She's amazing. Obviously from an amazing franchise, but Beery Beery. Oh my God. She's so adorable. And she's such a fun character. She's, she's so much more memorable to me than C2. And I just love that about her. I love her personality. I love the fact that she even got her own show, which is better than the main show. Um, she's she's good. She's cool. She's fun. I love her. She's my pick. But does and that's she have no green ha- hair. hate. No <laughs> hate against C two. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Natai. Natai. Oh, C two all the way. It's easy. What are you talking? Yeah, about? like he he said. Explain to me how um Misaka could C2 even is beat C two early. Yeah. yeah. He said so. I was like, he, he's obviously voting C two. Yeah, I voted C two. Easy. I love her. She's yeah. great. I mean, I, 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 I as you said, like Listen. her backstory is great. I think she, she, her presence in the show is like it adds a lot of mystery, a lot of intrigue, and I think she, her like her more like silly side, like with the fucking Pizza Hut and all the stupid poses she makes. Like, I think it's great. Yeah, I love C two. All right, I. I'm going to flip a coin to figure out what my choice is here. Hold on. <laughs> How do we deal flip with it. a tiebreaker? That's a good question. All right. I I, I flipped a coin. It's C2. There we <laughs> go. Right. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> the tiebreaker is we flip a coin because if we're split 2-2, two, two, then we have to flip a coin, mm, which yeah. I hate, but it's like, you know what? If we're both, if we're split 50-50, then a, a coin well. flips might as well yeah you know all right so our next matchup is homura from uh madoka magica versus rika takanashi her last name takanashi from takanashi uh, takahashi taka something it's taka something uh from uh chinibio <laughs> love chinibio and other delusions all right i i defy anyone to give me a reason why rika would not win this because to me, it's an obvious pick. I love Rika. Listen, I, I think she's I, a fun I gotta character. Say, John, all I got to say is when you're a lesbian, you do crazy things for love. <laughs> <laughs> no. She was wrong. Listen, Bro, do you, do you not re- remember the memes? Do you remember, I remember the, the memes? memes. <laughs> Listen, I haven't I haven't even watched Chunibio, and I think Rika what? takes this one. Yeah, I haven't watched it. And I think Rika you takes should. this one. Just because Homura, I like Homura as much as the next guy, but is she waifu material? No, because she has a waifu. <laughs> you can't, God can't be your waifu, bro. It doesn't work like bro, that. Bro, bro, Tell none of us here, <laughs> bro, bro, none of us here have the equipment that she's after, okay? She can go her own way. I'm not, I'm not like, to stop her. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight you on Rika taking this one. I'm not gonna fight. I mean, you. I I, I agree. I, I would pick Rika. I would pick whatever percent. I pick Rika. Easy, Rika. All right, bye, Homura. Fuck you. Go go <laughs> go. Be a lesbian somewhere else. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, two two anime. I could not give two shits about. <laughs> um, We're back to the Sundere Queen. What are you talking? I know, about? right? So, uh, Rin Tosaka. Totsuka? Yeah. Tos- it's Osaka, Tosaka. yeah, it's Tos- Tosaka, whatever. Uh, from Fate and Hanji Zoe from Attack on Titan. Now, I do like Sundaris. <laughs> oh, yeah, I um... don't like Fate, but I do like Sundaris. Um, but do you like thighs, John? <laughs> but I love Hanji's character so much because she's so crazy. 
She's crazy for that type she of man, is you know? <laughs> like she's she's just like mad scientist and I just <laughs> mad scientist. <laughs> she literally is. Yeah, it's like she's charismatic, she's curious, and she's just a fun character overall to be around. Like Rin is is cool and all, but she's kind of just like just a, a one note there. character. Yeah, like to me, and so that you're might just down because for that I, crazy I have a... Titan chick. I, I think I might be just because like as much as I like Sundarius, I don't like and I, I maybe it's because I don't like fate that much that I'm just like mm. yeah you're even though it's a Sundaria you're you're fate so I can't care that much about it I, I <laughs> there's biases showing you know I don't I'm trying to give Rin a fair shot though because she is a Sundere and Sundarius can do no wrong is <laughs> is my point God here. bless him God bless Sundarius. Where would but, we be as a society without them? <laughs> in a darker uh, place. In a darker place, obviously. <laughs> obviously. I'm I'll tell you what, I'm I'm gravitating toward your pick, John, just because it's the more interesting outcome. Like I like Rain a lot, I really do. But I think if she's out this early, I think it's the more interesting like outcome <laughs> if she's out this early literally yeah. all the fate fans are frothing at their mouth right now because we're really? not a oh, out oh, <laughs> i mean to be fair there is another fate character later in this list no oh, the actual best fate character uh yeah i'm, I'm thinking I'm, hanji. I'm gonna have to go with yeah i gotta go with hanji uh yeah hanji uh the only care well one of only two characters in attack on titan i actually genuinely loved yeah yeah, I'll uh, go with Hanji yeah. as well, sure. Sorry, Rin. All right. Bye, Rin. I definitely appreciated her. All right, speaking of incels. Um... <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> we have uh, Marine from uh, My Dress Up Darling versus Ray from Neon Genesis Evangelion. This is an easy All pick right. for me. I'm not going to lie. This me is too. an easy pick for me, too. And it's Ray. not. it's not who you think it is. <laughs> I know you're gonna, you're gonna pick green, aren't you? You're gonna pick green. I think Marin is a pretty cute character. I may not like dress up darling. I may not like um, Gojo, but I like Marin. I think that uh, first of all, you know, I know I'm very why. biased because she's a, I like Gyaru because I love Gyaru. Like, <laughs> fuck me up with those Gyarus, right? <laughs> um. I love that she's a nerd. You know, she's super cute and stuff like that, and awkward. And it's just bro, like, oh, guilty talk. gear cosplay. Yo, hey, yo, bitch, <laughs> then she cosplays, bro. All right, like, listen, think about Ray. What does she do? She's she's a kudere. Like, what even is a kudere? That's not even a well known <laughs> dere, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, Milk and dere. she's not dere, even more the... like cooties. Get away from me, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. She literally has zero personality, bro. Like, she would she be a pillow no princess. Uh, okay? Her name is literally Zero, bro. Uh. <laughs> like, I listen. She's not even like in the top three for best girls in Ava. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Wow. I mean, you're not, wrong, not wrong, but wow, you got to put it out there like that. <laughs> I mean, we all know Misato's where it's at, right? Yeah, we all know oh, Misato's course, where it's of at. Of course. Uh, so, yeah, I, I got to vote for Marin. Like, as much as I may not like my dress up darling. You know, John, I, you've I convinced me. You've convinced me to change my vote. <laughs> Bullshit. As if you were going to vote also, for Ray. Also, point, uh, point of he contention. He loves Ray. <laughs> I, I, I do love Ray. But point of contention. Marin has better titties. Okay? Just putting that out there. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> Man, I wish Maureen was in a better show, but because yeah. I love her as a character, and I hey, I, I, I mean, we have this Maureen, and we got Hosho Maureen. I mean, put them together, we might have a good show. Let, hold your horses, there, buddy. Ooh, ooh, someone oh, needs to draw down. her. Someone needs to draw her cosplaying as Hosho Maureen, and then I will be happy. I will be very happy. Anyway, Maureen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm done yeah. for that. All right, John, you you've convinced me to change my vote. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. All I right. hate you. Ooh. I hate you so much, bro. <laughs> what? I know you specifically did Fuck. this matchup. Revy from Black Lagoon and Power from Chainsaw Man, two of my absolute favorite characters, and I I know you did this on purpose, you bastard. I know you did this to me. Did <laughs> I you do am... it on purpose or did it work out that way? Who I knows? 
I know he did this on purpose because he knows how much I love Power. I absolutely adore her personality. I Fruz kills it as her voice actor. But I also absolutely love Revy. And it's like, well, she may not be the best girl to me in Black Lagoon, but she's also she's still really good. I just I hate this. I I could not vote on this. I would have to do a coin flip just because I'm I'm so conflicted. Do it. Coin flip and right Use your now, phone. Bro. Go to Google and just hit flip coin. All right, I'm gonna go. You guys discuss what your choices are. I'm gonna flip a coin because I can't. I, I, I'm, I'm in the same boat as John. Like I love both of these characters to death for very different reasons. Uh, but if I had if, gun to my head, if I had to pick one, I'm going with Revy. Uh, because I genuinely adore Black Lagoon. I love everything about. There's nothing bad about Black Lagoon. Nothing. So. So 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 I'll say just to be fair to Revy because I haven't watched Black Lagoon yet. But to be oh my god, if, if I it. have to be fair, just based on Revy's like character design, I'm like, God, dang! Like it's so iconic, it's so fucking incredible. And don't get me wrong, I love Power. She's one of my favorites in Chainsaw Man. Yes, I know. Like probably there's more awesome shit with her in the manga, but I'm just talking about the anime right now. He but just know. to be fair. I think I will go with Revy just based on her character design in this like competition. Okay. And I love and that's so, a fair that's a fair way to a fair way to put it, sure. For me, I would have to say power because she is such a fucking chaos goblin. She is a stinky meaner. I love her. She the is shit devil. so fun. The shit. She, she, the shit she, devil. Is, though. <laughs> she is the so sh- I, I love her. She's such a fun person. I, I love Revy. Don't get me wrong. I, I cannot tell you how much I love Revy, but power is just, she takes the cake. She takes the cake. Except her cake is fake. Revy's is real. Also, oh it my must have God, been... <laughs> who cares? It must have been fate because the coin flip gave me oh, heads. Amazing. And so Revy wins for my vote. Right. <laughs> okay, so it's Revy. If only you I'm sorry, power. power. I love I'm you, so sorry. power. I produce, I love you, but. Rest in power. Rest in rest power. In, rest in power, power. <laughs> All right. Speaking of psychopaths, um, we have Tanya from Saga of Tanya the Evil versus yeah, Mal Mal oh. from the Apothecary Diaries. Honestly, this is no waifu. competition. This is no competition to me. It's it's Mau Mau. Like yeah, maybe you can say it's recency bias. Um, but I really did like Tanya Saga of the Evil. Um. But Mau Mau from Apothecary Diaries is just a much better character, in my opinion. Also, funnily enough, both voiced by the same voice actor. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> yeah, these two are voiced by the exact same voice actors. That's I did funny. not recognize that when I when this matchup came up. Hilarious. <laughs> Aoi Yuki. Uh, yeah, Aoi Yuki. Uh, yeah, I just feel like because Tanya is just, sure, she's a psycho lowly. Sure, whatever. But that's kind of just her, that's all she is she doesn't really have much personality outside of like i'm a crazy bitch psycho i'm gonna go smite god with re, uh nuke magic it's like yeah that's cool it was cool to watch her go like nuke armies and stuff and basically be a devil on the uh, battlefield in war cool uh but that's kind of that's that's it that's all she amounts to and then mm-hmm. we have mau mau who's a lot more complex uh She's more know, nuanced character, a lot more nuanced. And she has a lot of cute moments too. Like I, I love when the, um, when they draw her with like the cat ears, it's like, meow. it's like, <laughs> it's super cute. Her so to me, mode. Mau Mau is just like the, that's, that's the, the no brainer pick. Mau Mau clears, so, man. So John, I'm going to actually disagree with you on Tanya being just a psycho lolly. Um, while the anime did portray her as such, she's, a lot more to uh, that than there. Uh, there's a lot more to her than just psychololi. She does have a personality. She does have her own thoughts, goals, and such. And the anime, I would say, did kind of a bad job in portraying that because I know it. I've read the manga. Uh, I'm almost up to date on it, and she's so much more interesting in that. And uh, I've seen snippets of the um, light novel or web novel, one of the two. Yeah, it's it's a light novel. The light the anime novel is based um, on yeah. And even there, I, I'm seeing so much more personality, so much more independence, and I really love her for that. So I will uh, argue with you on the fact that she's just a psycho lolly. She's so much more than that. But yeah, and my only The psycho lolly just but, happens to be the most fun here's, part. Here's the thing, though. So this is the waifu brackets, right? She's technically a man, so she's automatically she disqualified. 
No, <laughs> she's automatically disqualified. DQ'd. <laughs> Technically, he's right because You're even out. even even now, uh, she recognizes herself as a man, just in a girl's body. Just saying. But still thinks of herself as a man. I mean. So by by default, like it has to go to Mau Mau then. If yep. if Tanya is DQ'd from the waifu bracket. Easy win for Mau Mau. <laughs> it was all according to Keikaku. Oh. <laughs> all according to Mau Mau's Keikaku. <laughs> Are you muted, Alex? Sorry. I did mute myself because I was looking up something. Sorry about that. Uh, I was gonna say, like, even even all that being true that Chinoda said, Mau Mau's still a more nuanced character. She is. I agree with that. Yeah. And so much more fun. And and cute. Cat ears. Yeah. Now I do I would say Tanya's wish more that cute. uh Tanya Saga the Evil had a part two where we get to watch her fight Susie America or whatever her name is. <laughs> Susie America? Yeah, Susie America or whatever her oh damn my name God. is. <laughs> Man, what a great name though. All I know is she's the girl, her dad is the one who gets killed by Tanya, and so then she goes and fights Tanya. <laughs> And through the power of God and anime, she she apparently can put up a fight. And I'm like, Susie America to go fight the evil <laughs> Nazi Loli. I'll vote for her for Susie America. <laughs> Susie right. America. So are we going with Mau Mau? Yeah. 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 All right. Next matchup is I from uh, Kaguya-sama versus uh, Mayuri from Steins Gate. Now I, I love I, I love Hayasaka. I love Hayasaka. I think she's a hilarious character. Uh, real she, best girl. She's actually real best girl in uh, Kaguya-sama. But Mayuri is really good too. I'm oh I'm very God. conflicted, but she's ride or die with Okabe, man. I know, and it's like um, you think about what Okabe did to get back to Mayuri, right? Like to to get to the timeline where literally. I gotta piss. I'll be right back. Uh, I don't <laughs> but know here's because, the thing. because Hayasaka, I like Harisu. Hayasaka is literally the ride or die for Kaguya. You know, it's but like she... the same. She's on the same scale. She is also ride or die. You can't take it away it's from true. her. Okay, yeah, that's true. You know, hmm, this is a tough matchup. Yes, yeah, it's it's, my, it's my only first... tough when we like both girls. And it's I like, know. Yeah. <laughs> My my first. It's, it's also was... it's also like not as funny when you like both girls because then you have to seriously think about it. My first. We actually was have to, to be civilized with, uh, and not just make fucking jokes. <laughs> with Hayasaka, because I was like, I like Mayuri, but is she more than do do do? Even though it's great, but I'm like, no. Mm. I think maybe it's because I watched Kaguya Sama more recently. That I'm gravitating towards Hasaka. Maybe I'm not giving my reason. So I think it may shot. be a little bit of recency bias. Yeah, maybe now, I don't. It's been so my long. My only since I exposure Steinsgate. to Mayuri is watching Steinsgate, mm -hmm. right? And but I, Hayasaka, I've read the manga, and I know that she has a lot more depth to her character, not just being like Kaguya servant, but a faithful friend. So I do She's like her great. character a lot. So it's like. Based off of my current knowledge of both of these characters, I would have to lean more towards Hayasaka. Okay. Me too. Without. We don't know what Shinoda thinks because he went to go piss. He said Hayasaka. Uh, oh, he said. Oh. Okay, well, then I, I'm going to say Mayuri, but I guess I'm outvoted, so. <laughs> Mostly because I just think she's cute. Yes. All right, I guess we'll, no, he's back. we'll move on. And, oh, he's back. What? What? What impeccable timing. Ooh. What impact? I'll wait till he gets his headphones on there. We voted All Hayasaka. Right. Yay! So Hi Hayasaka <laughs> moved on. So our our next our next matchup is Akimi Akimi Akemi, from yeah. from High School DxD Isn't versus Akino? Akame from Akame Ga Kill. Isn't her no, name Akino? It's... I thought it was Akimi. Akimi, it maybe maybe it's both. Maybe you got, you got the first Akeno. name. And... I knew it. It's Akino. Akino? Okay. okay. Listen, I've never okay. seen High School DxD. So what? How have Alex, you never the seen type it? Of pervert, you are. Really? How have I never seen it? It looks like shit, and the wife, oh, the, the, the ca female character designs are shit. It's Whoa. so horny. You would Whoa. love it. Someone's talking shit right now. 
Anyway, uh, Akino is no Rios. However, but. I don't like I don't like Akane, so I I have a clear bias here. <laughs> there is no but there. Bro, Akino is no Rios, but she's still fucking Akino, dude. So yeah, um, I know. <laughs> like she's great. I, I'm 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 heavily biased. So I know you're. This is I listen, can tell. I know you're heavily biased, but like, just gonna say it. There are some days it's Rias, there are some days it's Akino. Why not both? You know? Quality <laughs> At the same around. time, the dream. The dream. Ak- no, I'm heavily biased in this bracket, bro. Akino over uh, Akame. I, I don't give a fuck about her. Oh, that's a bias I can get behind, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's two biases right in that picture. <laughs> yeah. Two massive biases, I can tell you. <laughs> Good luck, Chinoda. Bye. I like Akame, but like she's not even the best girl in the show for me. Ugh. And I haven't seen High School DxD. How but have you not seen it? See, I'm not the only I, one. Yeah, Chinoda, you're disgusting. How come you haven't watched it? Uh, Listen, watched all you guys need to do is go watch the first ED for High School DxD, Classic. and then you'll you'll see the way. You'll oh, see I've seen I've seen the OPs and EDs that I have seen. It's an amazing song. Akino is great in it. Nice performance. <laughs> uh, Akino, I guess. I, I don't. I don't care. So sure, I don't. I don't care, care about. I, I, I don't care, care about either of these girls. So it, I'm gonna just pick the one who's obviously winning. So sure. And we've done the one side of the bracket. God damn. Oh, I guess Taking we're gonna do. Uh, oh, we're one going. Side. Oh, we have to do this entire thing. Wow. Yes, the entire side. So, uh, uh, Kurisu versus Yui. Kurisu. Listen, <laughs> Kurisu. Like, Bro, what? Yeah. Easy. It, it <laughs> clears. It clears. All right. Uh, next, Hitagi versus Anya. All right. This oh, hurts, Hitagi. but Anya, you, you, yeah, like, this hurts, Anya, but you got to go sit down. It's Hitagi all the way. <laughs> <laughs> and Anya, the adults are, are, are competing. Go sit Hitagi down. Hitagi supremacy. <laughs> No clear Stapler. biases here. Stapler supremacy. I like crab. <laughs> crab. Oh, Tonight. man. I mean, does it matter his opinion? It's three yeah, already. No, it doesn't, like, matter. Yeah. doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> doesn't matter. All right. Shinobu, Shinobu versus uh, Nishimiya. Shinobu. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is Shinobu? just a clear sweep. Clear sweep. Monogatari sweeps. Let's go. Monogatari sweep. <laughs> We here at Anime Club After Dark are clearly not biased towards JoJo's, the One Piece, Monogatari, the One Piece or any. Fans are seething right now. <laughs> yeah, the One Piece fans are absolutely seething and malting right now. All right, Ryuko versus Asuka. I like Ryoko more. I will flat out say it. I think Ryoko's a better character, better person, just better in every way compared to Asuka. You know what? Except feel... Sundari wise, she's uh, Asuka's the better Sundari. I feel like uh, you're correct, but I think Asuka just has more depth to her character. Like, with Ryuko, she's, you know, heart on her sleeve. You see, what you see is what you get. I feel like Asuka has a little bit more depth to her. Uh, and I also love me a tragic heroine, you know? Yeah, so, I was about to say, depth, you mean just tragedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> by, sad. By, by sadness. So, I, I gotta go with Asuka. Yeah, I'm going with Asuka. How right, can you bro. not appreciate... German technology right there, bro. Like, it's the greatest technology <laughs> German in the world. technology is the greatest in the world! Bro, come on, <laughs> Of course it's Asuka. <laughs> Alright. Next, uh, C2 versus Rika. This Good hurts luck, me John. so much. I hate mm. this. You, knew, you know it's um, only going to get harder from here, right? I know. This is why I hate brackets, because it's like, I like both of these characters quite a lot. I've got the OG waifu versus, like, the newer waifu, and it's like, you know, the OG waifu was good to me, but the newer waifu looks a lot better, a lot younger, and it's just, it's hard to really compare and contrast, you know. Old me would probably say uh, C2, but after they bastardized uh, Code Geass with the newer seasons, I've got to go with uh, Rika. At least it ends pretty bro, well on her end. Bro, your logic dictates that blue equals loser. Where the fuck were you at? <laughs> I you can't be fair. You can't listen to John's arguments. He's a fucking hypocrite who will turn back <laughs> on what he I'm said using his within own the same ten him. minutes. To be fair, John, Rika is a blue-haired character who wins. 
exactly <laughs> she's it's broken such a curse. rarity it's such a rarity in anime how many green-haired girls win i can name at least two bro Who wins like <laughs> Where is this C2 slander coming from? She's incredible. <laughs> there was no slander. I, I'm just saying. I sensed it. <laughs> I'm it just saying this horizon. is a tough decision. But it is you for know me what? Too. Against my better judgment, I will vote against C2 and say Rika. Okay? I like Rika more. Yeah. God damn. We, we, the tie, you're going with C2, right? I'm going with C2. She's the one. All right, I got to flip a coin on this one because I'm so <laughs> conflicted. Let's... Hold on. Oh, no. It's C2. Oh, no. Oh, no. C2. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that no, means we're, we're at a 2 again. 2 impasse, so we got to right. flip a coin. We'll flip again another coin. All right. So you want to go heads for C2 and tails for Rika? Sure. All right. I'll, I'll put, I don't know if it'll show up here, but. What is it? Oh. Heads. 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 So, C2. Let's All right. go. All right. God of Fate Here's has decided. Them. I am fine with that. All right. Hanji, Hanji versus, versus Marine. Let's be honest. Okay. Say your piece. Let's be honest. As much as I love Hanji as a character, she's super entertaining. Mm -hmm. This is a waifu bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. The time Mar it's marine point. all the way. Okay, so I have no counter arguments to this because I also was like, you know what? I like Hanji. I think she's a great character, but I'd rather have Marine fight fighting. She has a higher chance of winning the next bracket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's be honest. Chinoda. Oh come on! Do you have to ask? Buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna on, be bro. this is gonna shock you all. I'm gonna be the lone dissent, dissenting voice and say Hanji. Wow. Alex, you don't even like yeah, Attack on Titan. Attack on no, Titan. but I, I don't like shit. Attack on Titan as a whole, but I love the character of Hanji. Like every time every she's on screen, she's time, killing every it. Every single time when it comes to like the, the to making a choice, Alex is like Attack on Titan. I don't even like the show, but I'll pick the Attack on Titan section. <laughs> I like everything Listen, about Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like everything about Attack on Titan except the story. Right. Yeah, I like Attack two characters. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I I know that might shock some people, but yeah, I would pick uh, Hanji over to Marine, but I am outvoted, so. Marine Next. moves on. Revy versus Mal Mal. Oh. You know, I feel like this is pretty tough, oh. but I, I gotta go Revy, man. She ride or die forever. <laughs> Mau Mau's great. Don't get me wrong. I I loved Apothecary Diaries. Like secret hit of that season. Amazing. And can't wait show. to see more. I can't wait. But I, I'm voting my girl Revy. Okay. Uh, listen, I have no horse in this race. You guys can go ahead and take this one. Okay. <laughs> uh, one abstain, so now it's up to <laughs> you two. Uh ooh. I love recency her, bias man. or the OG. I also love Mau Mau. Well, it's not recency any. Well, it is recency still, but <laughs> it, it's, it it's it's been a while since then. All right, <sighs> all right. If I'm going with who would I rather take out on a date? Mau Mau. Ooh. Do you know why? Because she's got. Why? Because oh, Revy yeah. takes you out on a date. You don't take Revy on a date. Yeah, because <laughs> Revy, is, Revy is definitely the dom in that relationship. Wait, hold on. But Revy would peg you, Alex. <laughs> I'm not a bottom. Yeah, you but could you be. would bottom for Revy. <laughs> no, I would not. Oh, what a bitch. Look, she's probably got like a 13-incher. I can't take that shit. <laughs> I, think I don't, it's if, if it's me, if it's me, like I, I, as much as it hurts, because I absolutely love Black Lagoon, I'm choosing Mau Mau just because I, God, I love Apothecary Diaries so goddamn much, and I love Mau Mau. So All just right. comparing the characters for me, it's got to be Mau Mau. She has so much more personality. She's so much more interesting as a person compared to Revy. Yeah, Revy's personality and backstory is just tragedy. Just shoot things. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just tragedy. <laughs> yeah, it's tragedy and let me shoot my way to better better tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, I All think right. she has a lot of good character growth when um especially oh, later I agree. uh 
like parts of the manga where she admits like you know being with rock is making her softer and she doesn't like that because she grew up having to be tough and not caring about anything and then not listen i think she has a lot more depth than you guys give her uh any credit for but <laughs> i will i i will agree with the democracy white knight then. is here <laughs> look i'm not saying she doesn't have depth i just think my mom has more in comparison no don't get me wrong my mom was great as well like she like I, have you read the manga Kinoda? no not yet okay i have started reading it How it's really good have you guys read the is it only a manga I don't know or if there's a, a light, light novel, novel, but I've started reading know. the manga. But yeah, I started reading the manga because I couldn't wait for the next episode. <laughs> it's really good. The manga is really good. Yeah. So, all right. Mau Mau wins. Mau Mau wins. Goodbye, right. Revy. Bye-bye, Revy. Uh, I versus Akino? I, How are Hayasaka fuck? versus Akino. Yeah, Hayasaka no, versus... like Hayasaka. That's yeah, yeah, Hayasaka. Hayasaka. To me, this is a no-brainer. Like, Same. listen, it's just I like her a lot more. <laughs> I can know it's great sex appeal, but yeah, Hayasaka is like the better character by far. All right. Hell, Hayasaka Next. has better sex appeal. All right. Ooh. Kurisu Ooh. versus Hitagi. I have a clear bias here because. Yeah, we know who you're picking. We all know I'm picking Kurisu because Kurisu is actually the number one waifu of all time, forever. Not just according to me, but according to everyone else. Like I, I like it talking. Everyone else, don't get me wrong. Not in this room. <laughs> not no, in no! this room, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, John, but my bias is gonna come through because Hitagi is like, I like her way more than Kurisu, and I love Kurisu. She, from the moment she shoved the fucking knife inside Koyomi's mouth, I was like, <gasps> yes, I'm yours <laughs> forever. Step on me, mommy. <laughs> Itagi is like such an incredible character. Like again, Kurisu is incredible. I love her intelligence, I love her chemistry with the rest of the cast, but watching Itagi grow from the stereotypical tsundere to being like a whole complete person is one of the most rewarding things I've watched in anime and she'll forever hold a special place in my heart. She's not even my favorite character from the show, and yet she she still has that Your impact favorite on character me. isn't in this bracket. Which is a shame. No, you're <laughs> but yeah, Itagi is my pick. Okay. Yeah, mine too. Unfortunate. Chinoda? Abstain because I haven't seen either. So oh! No. Oh! 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 The yeah, hammer like, falls. I know I voted before, so but, the I, hammer but falls. this is way, this is way too... <laughs> the stakes are too high. He doesn't want that up. responsibility. <laughs> I can't. This is way too... Too much. Sorry, Listen, I think nice. it would have been a lot more interesting if you voted for Karisu, so we would have to do a coin flip, and then I would have had a shot at having Karisu win. <laughs> <laughs> so is that is that your final like thing yeah, on it? Yeah, abstain. So all right, so Hitagi, Hitagi. moves on. Ooh. All right. Speaking of Monogatari, Shinobu versus Asuka. I think I'm going Shinobu. Asuka. I'm gonna go with Asuka. Shinobu. Ooh. Really? Wow, Asuka. two Oscars. Okay, I just love Kish. Like, if it if it has Same. to be Kish shot with Shinobu, like I I have to vote, like because I love Kish shot so much. I I'm going Shinobu I too. I I love Kish shot. She's great. I don't know why. When I saw this like Kish shot versus Oscar, my first go was for Oscar. I don't have a good explanation why, but yeah. So we have a two-two tie because two of us have said Shinobu, two of us have said Asuka. So I guess we'll do the the coin flip again. So heads for Shinobu, tails for um, Asuka. Maybe I just want a battle of the tsundere's. Maybe that's why I said. <laughs> maybe maybe that is what you want. <laughs> we'll find the number one tsundere. All right. So agreed. Heads Shinobu, tails Asuka. Let's yeah. Go. Sure. And it's heads. It's heads. Shinobu. 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 Man, when I got to sleep. a lot sleep. of heads on this. Yeah. All right. Uh, Shinobu moves on. Next, we have C2 versus Marine. Uh, Marine, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, yeah. Marine, listen, I love you, but if it's between C2 you or C2, character. C2. Like, yeah, no. Yeah. I'm sorry, C2. Chinoda. No, I C2 love Marine. Just a better character. I love Marine, but C2's. C2 better. sweep! <laughs> C2 sweep, yeah. Easy. Let's go, Pizza Hut. Let's go. All right. Mao Mao versus Hayasaka. Oh, this is actually hurting. <laughs> oh. 
This doesn't oh. hurt me because if I have to pick between the two, I honestly I like Mao Mao more uh, Ooh, compared yeah. to Hayasaka. I do like Hayasaka. Like again, I I like Kaguya Sama the manga. I've finished all of it, and I do like Hayasaka's character and stuff. But mm-hmm. if we're picking between the two, I would I have a clear bias towards Mao Mao because I think she's more okay. interesting of a character. Mao Mao. I, Mau. I would agree. I, yeah, Mao Mao. Mau. <sighs> I got nothing to I, say. You got okay. nothing to say. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, at this point. All right. There can be only one Monogatari girl. All right. All right. Hitagi All versus right. Shinobu. Sway Not my Alex. opinion, Natai. Right. Sway my opinion. Hear me out. Why? I... Okay. Yeah. This is coming for someone who is weak minded, okay? I okay. love me. <laughs> Hold on. I'm glad Hear you admit out. that. Hear me out. I love me some big titty blonde women. <laughs> I'm weak, <laughs> and yet Hitagi is the clear winner. There's a reason it all started with her in release order, not chronological order. It doesn't matter. It's a, there's a reason this whole shit started when we met Hitagi because she shook our world that much. She changed everything around us because we couldn't look away. We couldn't be distracted. Only. We could only experience her presence with us. That shower scene was so glorious. We were forever in the palm of her hand. It was done. Bro, this dude is spitting straight poetry right now. Like, I'm inspired. I, I am swayed, man. He's right. He is absolutely 100% correct. Natai just spoke from the soul. Like, <laughs> Damn. That, that touched me, man. Like, I I got to vote Hitagi. As much as I love Bro, Shinobu, yeah. as much as I love his shot. fucking tootie character all day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as much as I love Kiss Shot and as much as I love Shinobu, I'm I'm a, I'm agreed. Like Hitagi, Let's crab go. all the way. All right, now C two versus Mau Mau. I hate this. I I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> the battle of the green haired girls. Because whoever wins here has to go against Hitagi, and I feel yeah, like Hitagi is no gonna sweep. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's no shot. Uh, but you know what? Between Mau Mau and C2, I'm going to have to go C2. Like, I'm going to rep my girl now. All the way, now that she's in the brackets. I'm going to take her up to the uh, the semifinals there. Okay. Anybody else? I think it's a clear winner here. I mean, I'm not going to... Are we all going to say C2? I say Mau Mau. I think she's a better character. I think she's more interesting. I think she's more fun. And Does I don't mean by pizza much. Pizza I love, I love C two. I love C two, but I think Mau Mau's just better by just that much. I would like to say, in regards to what Natai said, no, she does not eat Pizza Hut. But for her, pizza wouldn't be invented for another thousand years. So, same. <sighs> I love you, Mau Mau. I really do. I can't wait to see your second season. But I gotta go with C two on this. Ah. Uh. Let's this go. hurts. This genuinely hurts me. C2. Which means our... This is a uh, solid semi-final, let's be honest. This is you. a solid semi-final to go into... The winner of this goes into the final once we do the other side of the bracket. So, Hitagi versus C2. All right. I think the obvious choice is Hitagi. Mm. However, your heart, heart is saying something different. <laughs> what the heart wants. My and I have loved C2 longer than I have loved Hitagi. <laughs> I am sorry to disappoint you like this, Natai, but I'm going to cast my vote for C2. Here's my question, though, John. All right? <laughs> Hear me out. Hear me out. Speak, speak, <laughs> brother. Hear speak. Me out. I'm about to spit. <laughs> you, I've known you for a long time now, and all I can keep hearing from you is your ride or die. Ride or die. You're down for the ride or die chicks. <laughs> That's Who's true. Who's more ride or die than fucking Itagi Senjo Gahara? Oh, shit! Let's go! I'd argue C2. Nah. Bro. I would argue C2. She's a schemer. I, I love her, but she she is quite the schemer. No, I think she's ride or die. I would argue. More than Senjo Gahara? I'd say so, yeah. Wow. I couldn't convince That doesn't him. mean Senjo Gahara isn't ride or die. She is also ride or die. She's very loyal. and mm. But, you know, there's just one specific line that stuck to me that there's just like, oh, 
it's true, but like, why'd you have to say that? And it was that uh, Araragi isn't special. It's just that he was there. He was at the right place at the right time. And that's why he's the one that she is dating now and that she's like all four. But only it's he just like, was you know the what? one able to drag her out of the dump she was in. It wouldn't have worked. He was the only one who stuck with her. And that's why she stuck with him. Because she, every other person would have run away in that very first moment when she almost attacked him. But he was like, I sense something's off with her. I sense she needs help. She needs to help herself somehow. And he stuck she with her. She literally talks about how to... um. The actual best girl who's not on this list, Kaiki. <laughs> he would have steamrolled the competition. <laughs> but she she literally does say that the reason she's with Araragi isn't because of like some unknown like gravitational pull to his charisma and that he's he's this awesome dude. It's because he was the first to help her. That's literally he was in the right place at the right time, and it could have been anyone else. That was at the right place at the right time with the same type okay. of intentions as Araragi. That's what I'm saying. And ever since she said that line, I was like, you know what? That may be the truth, but I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> it you may know, be the me, truth, but I didn't this. need to hear it. You know what? Let, let's jump off from this point. So because you're talking to her relationship with Araragi, which dynamic do you like more? Hitagi's and Araragi's or C2's and Lelouch? Probably Hitagi's and Araragi's, yeah. I would say so. I'm still gonna vote C two. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's he's voting from his heart, not his brain. I'm voting from my heart, not my brain. I mean, I'm gonna go with Hitagi on this one. As much as I love both of these characters, he is just, swaying. Like that's Natai the said, annoying thing. He's swaying. <laughs> like, well, like he's working on him. Like Natai, like like Natai said, watching that dynamic between her and Araragi is really fun, and her character growth from the first time you meet her till. Well, what was originally the end, but not anymore. I'm having a hard time here. Bro, Fuck. you've been Hitagi all the way. I know. Just don't like, fumble at the fucking... You want to talk end. about someone who's a goddamn hypocrite? My man, literally just 10 minutes ago, you gave us this heartwarming speech Bro. that swayed us to Hitagi's Bro. side. And now you're faltering? Bro, bro, I just want to tell you right now, you are at the two-yard line. It is fourth down. Do not fumble this fucking ball. I'm not going to choke. I'm not going to choke. I'm going to pick Hitagi. I think it's Hitagi. Oh! Damn. I love C2. And obviously, I haven't watched uh, Monogatari, but, like, even I know Hitagi it is just better. Maybe it's you time. Should, it is time. Should, no, 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 no. Watch no. it. I'm, I am... Fully going to get the Blu-ray collection, and that's when I'll start watching it. And I know how much he's going to spend gonna be. two thousand dollars to watch something. Yep. <laughs> okay, I know. Good luck look, with that. I already know I'm going to love it. So, <laughs> what, All right. what else do I need? So I guess on the left side of the bracket, Hitagi wins. So we move Alex, on to the. I have the... a question. Does the yes. bracket force you to do one side first? Yes. Yes. So. The, well, I mean, it doesn't force you to do it in the uh, the matchup mode, which is what this is. It does force you to do that. But oh. if you don't use the matchup mode, you can do any any of these matchups you want. You can just drag and drop. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just thought we'd go in order how how it does it here, just because it makes it, it's better visually. Sure. Um, right. All right. So first matchup on the right side of the bracket is Mikasa from Attack on Titan versus Kanade. Kanade that, Tachibana. Kanade yeah. from uh, Angel Beats. Um, I'm going to be honest here. I love uh, Yui Ishikawa. I liked mm. Mikasa, and then we got to the end where I didn't like Mikasa anymore. Uh, <laughs> no. I have a clear bias. I, I have it. a clear bias here because <coughs> the the story with, like, Tachibana and, like, the whole stuff at the end, like, bro, that just right here, man. Like, I mean, oh, my God. Like, seriously. Like, Angel Beats is still in the top ten most favorite animes for a reason because it, it has had a lasting impact on weebs uh it, at least in japan because i remember they recently i say recently a couple years ago did a poll about like top 10 emotional anime or whatever it was and angel beats was like number six or seven or something it was still in the top 10 and it's been over 10 all years. these years later it's crazy tachibana isn't even the best character in her own show <laughs> 
Yeah, well, the best character that you think girl? is... Fr- <laughs> where is Suplex Girl? Confined to a wheelchair, bro. That's where. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was too Amazing. bad. Uh, that That's terrible. Anyway, uh, it, it, I, I'm voting Tachibata just because, you know, I loved Mikasa at the beginning. I love Yui Ishikawa. But, man, do I hate what her character devolves into. I'm going to say Tachibana as well. All right. You don't like Attack on Titan. Fuck. Hey, <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I would literally, I would, I, would, I would choose Mikasa if her personality was better or more than just oh, my boyfriend. She's Mikasa still buff, for me. though. Okay, listen. I cannot be swayed by abs, my friend. Oh, you can't? <laughs> Alex. No. You well, yeah. yeah. I'm Mikasa gonna say Mikasa. Kid. Yeah, I'm gonna say Mikasa because I don't remember <laughs> Angel Beats that well, and I watched it during a time where I wasn't really feeling emotions, so I didn't feel anything when I you watched should re-watch it. it. I should. I know I should, but all right. Well, you I should guess rewatch it's time for... Anohana. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> you really want to. You really want to be depressed? Watch oh. Anohana. Um. I guess it's time for another coin flip. So I guess heads Mikasa, tails uh, Tachibana. Because yeah. we've had like three head rolls in a row. Uh, I'm just saying, law of probability, it's gonna be tails. But we could be wrong. If it's You're heads again, wrong. I'm gonna fucking bring out my dice and start. You're gonna rolling. be wrong. Yeah, we're gonna actually roll dice instead. <laughs> All right. Tails. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay say, then. All right. Law of probability, <laughs> baby. Law of probability. So Tachibana. All right. Tachibana. Yep, Tachibana. Yep. All right, next is the Battle of the Lolis. We have Megamine from Konosuba versus Nezuko from Demon Slayer. Two I feel like let's be let's be let's be clear. Nezuko can power up and her titties become bigger, so she doesn't have to be a loli, just saying. That's true. Yeah, but like that's his younger sister, bro. Like oh, what definitely. the f- <laughs> like, What does her what being the, the younger f- sister have to do with any? <laughs> true, but also what like, you, you know, about? she's 9. <laughs> Or twelve. Or at, yeah, at least at I least Megami's a teenager. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better, Alex. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry I brought it there, but overall, I think that um, I I like both shows. Don't get me wrong. Even though I haven't watched season two of any of the shows because I mm-hmm. I just don't want to because I you know it's fine. It doesn't matter. Point is, I think Megamine is a better character overall. Mm-hmm. I just I she has more personality because you know with Nezuko, it's like what do we know about her? I was like, oh, she was a caring younger sister. And then she turns into a a demon. That's and grr, I have blood arts. Yeah, literally just grr, I have blood arts now. Grr. Man, imagine she didn't getting, start getting actually speaking that, until this latest season. And even then, it's not her actually speaking. Yeah, I mean, just wins by default. I'll be honest. I, yeah, I, I feel like there's a clear a bias character. over here. I, I can oh, already hear the demon slayer stands going re. <laughs> well, it's all right because the Kono Super stands are with us right now. That's true. <laughs> yeah, my brothers, <laughs> my explosion <Let's>, brothers. <laughs> Let me go just check Mal and see what's higher mm-hmm. rated right now. Demon Slayer yeah. fans, <laughs> easy. <laughs> all right, next is Mai from what the fuck I, is that even called? I uh, don't care about Mai Bunny from Girl Senpai. Bunny Girl Senpai um, versus Shiro from No Game No Life. <laughs> I, I'll just I say. Really Go, yeah, Go say your piece. Say your piece in the time. I know I'll be the minority. And just to be perfectly clear, I don't think Binding Girl Senpai is a fantastic show. I think it's fine. I will say that I do think Mai is a really good character. Is she kind of Senju Gahara? Maybe just a bit. And maybe that's why <laughs> I like her that much. <laughs> Bro, bro, say... she is a Walmart Senjo Gahara. Yeah, I take offense <laughs> that she's a Walmart Senjo Gahara, bro. I take offense to that. And you know what? You know what? I will take a Walmart Senjo Gahara before I'll take Shiro from No Game No Life. Oh, I, said it. I fucking said oh. it. He said it. Okay, wow. all right. That's great because I already know uh, I'm voting Shiro because one, I love No Game No Life. She is not the best girl from No Game No Life. That's Jibido, uh or Stephanie. Depends Stephanie on my mood that Dola. day. Oh, no. I, I fucking love Stephanie Dolo. She's hilarious. Um, but you know, I just I hate 
Buddy Girl Senpai so much. I remember watching this anime. I'll be right back. And just being okay. like, wow, this is just a ripoff version of Monogatari, and it sucks. <laughs> Down to the <laughs> characters doing character songs. I was like, wow, here's the little sister character. Here's the Senjo Gahara. Here's the freaking um, Hanakawa character. Like, what, what, what am I watching here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the here's the underclassman who's in love with you. Oh my god, it's basically rip off Monogatari. If you're gonna copy a show, at least copy the uh, like copy it better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I, well they they say you know if you're gonna if you're gonna copy someone, copy from the best. So they did do That's that. True. They just didn't do it very good. Yeah, like I I agree with Natai's point. I'm not sure if he can hear me right now. Um, but I agree that. I think my is has some character. I like her the most out of mm -hmm. all the girls in Bunny Girl Senpai, but I just don't think she's that much like, or rather, I should say, not that much. I don't think she's at all any better than picking Shiro. And again, I do have a clear bias. I didn't like Bunny Girl Senpai. Mm hmm. I, Shiro. I, I have watched both. Shiro's a gamer girl. Well, let's go. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I mean, gamer girls do clear, right? <laughs> and they do. They absolutely do. All right. Should I wait for Natai to get back before we move on? Nah, fuck it. He can pick when he gets I, back. I think he can still hear us. So, all right. So we got Shiro. Next matchup is Violet Evergarden versus Konata. <laughs> Violet Evergarden from, uh, from Lucky Violet Star. Evergarden and um, Konata from Lucky Star. Speaking I of feel, gamer girls, <laughs> I feel you know, I as much as I love Lucky Star, I love the mm -hmm. opening song. I liked watching the anime; absolutely hilarious. One of the first, like, uh, one of the first anime I've watched as well. However, Lucky Star is one of the goats. <laughs> Let's yeah, be it, very real. it's it's goaded. Like Lucky Star is an amazing show. He's looking for his box set that he bought that he likes to show off every yeah. time we talk about I Lucky am. Star. Where the hell did it go? <laughs> he can't even find it. Ugh. There it is. Wow. I was there so when good. you bought that. Yes, I bought this at Anime Expo. Didn't I loan you $100 to buy it? I gave it back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was short on cash. I had to loan him money for it. But uh, well, the, the the booth was only taking cash, and I didn't. I had my card, but it they only what took cash. What kind of booth only takes cash? The one that doesn't want to pay card fees? Yeah, it's like 3% per fee. Unless you're Amex, and it's like 10% per card. Oh, uh, that's true. Which is why a lot of restaurants don't split. Um, If you try to split the bill, they'll be like no more than three cards because they don't want to pay more than 9%. And a lot yeah. of places don't take American Express because of the whole 10%. Makes sense. Uh, but anyway. yeah, I, I just... I, I, feel, I, I feel like it's a no-brainer for us to all vote violet but i could be wrong I, I maybe some people have some some reason why um kanada kanada konaha kanada yeah kanada lucky kanada star izumi. girl i think her name last name is izumi i don't remember her last name uh, yeah I, I i don't know why anyone would vote for um not vote for violet because my god i still <laughs> i need to go watch the movie i know i need to go watch it I this say I like these. I love how I say I love all these shows, and yet I've only seen the first seasons Season. of things. I don't watch <laughs> anything auxiliary. <laughs> it's because for so many of them, you already read ahead. So why? I mean, as much as I obviously love Lucky Star, uh, I gotta go with Violet here. Uh, Violet is precious, uh, must protect. Aren't these both Violet. done by Kyo Annie? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Lucky Star was done by Kill Annie, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I Where want the Natai... hell is Natai? Yeah, I, I want to hear Natai's opinion. He's taking a shit. I mean, he, his opinion. He, he, might, he, he might be. He, he did say he was going to the bathroom, so he'll probably be back in about like half an hour, oh, 45 yeah. minutes. Oh. I mean, do we really need to hear his opinion if we all three voted? I, I mean, I think all three you of us always said have to hear my opinion. Right? Oh! oh shit! Oh, he's back. <laughs> All right. Are you gonna Say vote for? Uh, have you even seen Lucky Star? Bro, get this bitch out of here. Of course, it's Violet. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I felt like that was gonna be the answer. Like. <laughs> All right. So Violet Evergarden, it is. 
Next, we have Saber from Fate versus Haruhi Suzumiya from the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. All right. Saber. I'm going to be honest here. I don't like either of these girls. <laughs> um, really? Technically well, speaking, understandable. Technically speaking, Saber's a dude as well. By the way, that's King Arthur right there, sir. Oh, my king. That only a, makes it better. She has a son who is also a woman. You know what? I'll Mordred. Neil. <laughs> I'll Neil. I'll bend yeah. Me. Um. Yeah, I I don't like uh Haruhi that much. Like her character, I think she's annoying. Uh, to be honest. Uh, Again, not even the best character in her own show. Yeah, not not even the best character in her own show. I would rather vote Rin than Saber any day of the week if we're talking fate, just because Sundari automatically puts her above Saber. Clears. Too bad we disqualified her so early on. Yeah. I will admit, though, the voice actor for Saber is really good. Mm. But that's the voice actor, not Saber the character. So the only saving grace, in my opinion, to Saber, and, you know, cry and bitch about it, uh, Fate fans, I don't care. Your opinions don't matter to me. <laughs> so I'm going to vote Haruhi out of spite for Saber. <laughs> okay. You're all looking at your phones because y'all don't even care. See that? No, no, no. I know. That's how much. Because I, I thought it's Yui Ishikawa who voiced Saber, but I was wrong. So. No, it's not Yui Ishikawa. It's, um... I don't know why I thought. Um. I haven't watched Haruhi, so I don't care. Uh, I think Saber is a really good character. Sorry, Alex. Uh, so I'll pick Saber. Listen, it's not necessarily that Saber is a bad character. Like the design is cool. It's just I the my only experience with Fate is Fate Zero, and in that she's boring as fuck. What? She's not boring. She's really interesting in that one. Uh, <laughs> Please, you gotta you're old. He's an old man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I said. All right, Shinoda. I haven't seen either, but I think Haruhi is so much more entertaining and fun character. So Haruhi gets right. my vote. I guess Haruhi is the one that's and, moving on. And my final say: What is a king to a god? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. All right, next matchup: We have Asuna from uh, Sword Art Online versus. Oh, I can never remember her name. Uh, Main my, girl my, character my, from my, Pet Girl of Sakura So. My Yoi? No. Um, Fucking worst matchup. Who cares about these not, bitches? Is it Kaori? It, I don't know. I cannot remember her name. Uh, I don't. Uh, girl from Sakura So. Pet Girl of Sakura So. You gotta look it up. So I, I gotta look it up. Uh, her name is Sheena. Uh, Mashiro Sheena. Mashiro, yeah. Uh, so Sheena from Pet Girl of Sakura So or Asuna from SAO. I have a clear yeah. bias. I have talked at nauseum about how much I dislike, in fact, hate Pet Girl of Sakura So. Uh, I'm going to vote included. Asuna purely off of that. Purely off of hatred. Same. Asuna. <laughs> yeah, I, as much as I despise Sword Art Online as well, um, I'm going she with was Asuna the in this of matchup. Writing that show. Yeah. Well, I will say, I will say one saving grace is if you go with just character introductions, Asuna's character introduction is actually pretty good. Everything else about her sucks, but... <laughs> She's so pretty, though. I don't know. The, had... the, the pet girl of Sakura so always rubs me the wrong way because it's it's literally a story that fetishizes autism and is disgusting. Wait, what? I just okay, hate let, let me this, say what this. I hate about Pet Girl of Sakura so is like I don't have a problem with Sheena. I have a problem with the main character. He's a soy boy beta cuck, quite literally. <laughs> like cry yeah. fucking more, little bitch. Boy, I do not care. <laughs> he really is. I hate him. Um, oh, I, I'm terrible. I didn't get into the program. I'm gonna be a little bitch about it to the people who care about me. I'm like, yeah, that seems about right. I have <laughs> never seen or even heard of the pet girl of Sakura so so Asuna automatically gets this but <laughs> from right. what I'm hearing I'm not even going to watch it because holy <laughs> shit <laughs> maybe this I is mean, the next nothing maybe of... this is the next secret senpai we're all gonna watch it <laughs> no <laughs> oh god no, oh, no. <laughs> we're gonna watch freaking future diary pet girl of Sakura so the goddess <laughs> cafe terrace whatever the, co the cafe terrace goddesses <laughs> We're gonna watch all the shows oh that we God. all hate. Yeah. 
All right, so obviously it's Austin. And now before I click this, Chinoda, I have something to say to you. You and I are going to be together in a, it's just a few days at, at Otakon. Mm-hmm. Keep that in mind when you see it this next matchup, because I will hurt you. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> in Minecraft. Okay, Here we go. For sure. All right. Holo from Spiceable versus Makima from Chainsaw Man. You know? All right, so Chinoda, Chinoda picked Holo. Yes, okay, cool. <laughs> I... I have a clear bias about why I'm going to choose who I, I'm going to choose, but I can't explain it because it would be spoilers. But I'm going to say Holo. So I'm not going to say anything other than that. Like, Holo from, um, I was going to say Hollow Stars. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holo from Hollow Stars. Uh, yeah, she beca- actually, she has become a VTuber. Uh, Holo from Spice and Wolf. Uh, I, I, you know, it may be recency bias as well, but man, am I enjoying the remake? It is phenomenal. Yeah, it's so good. It's I, it's so good. It's I just, love that they're uh, using the light novel designs. It looks freaking fantastic, and I love Chainsaw Man. And you know, I know I understand that everyone loves uh, Mama Makima. I get that. Oh, oh, oh! I, the whole wolfing oh thing. Like I, I get it. I understand. But I, I cannot explain why I don't like her anymore without spoilers. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. Alex. You know, to be very careful with the next words that come out of your mouth. <laughs> Here we she go. is a sadistical dummy mommy. Why would I not vote for her? I'm going to fucking murder you. <laughs> why wouldn't I? <clears throat> I love the cute fox. I do. Wolf. She's a wolf. wolf. Sorry, not fox, wolf. Did you just assume her animal? <laughs> her species? Species? <laughs> I love the cute wolf. I do. But the other will literally whip you. Come on, man. Come on. This is what I get, this is what I get for trusting my fate to a degenerate. Yeah, I know, right? All right, Natai? Please don't Listen. do this, Natai. Please don't do this. <laughs> All right. He hit him with the listen. listen. It's high. You're my friend. <laughs> I have money. Listen, listen. Some things money can just can't buy. All is great. I really like all. She's awesome. Okay. She's awesome. I like her a lot. I'll never forget the day when I sat down. It was it was Tuesday night. I sat down right on the couch, and a new episode of Chainsaw Man came out. It was episode five. I was having a great time. Just yeah, I mean a good old time. And then that scene happened when Makima literally she was just touching Denji's hand in a very detailed way. And I felt something in me that I haven't felt in a long, long time. I don't think I ever felt that feeling. It awakened something in me. There was not a single John- there was not a single degenerate moment in that episode, and yet I I I was about to burst in many ways. <laughs> John, John, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Is this truly what betrayal feels like? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they feel this way, Alex. It's because God. they don't know. It's because I know, they don't know. I, I can't even you know be what? mad because you it's like, I, I, I can't I be mad care. at your own ignorance. I don't care. I don't know. John, you know why? Because I felt something that day. And I'll I'll never forget that feeling. It doesn't right. matter what what happens in the future. I don't in care. In about one year, means. when Chainsaw Man Season 2 comes out, then you change your care. opinion. I'm, John, I'm clipping this. Matter. I'm clipping this. <laughs> I'm gonna say this just... for a very special occasion. You know what? You I... can clip this. You think you know, you know who your friends you're... are? You never and then forget they just your first you times. Like... It doesn't matter in which first time, but you never forget your first time. Man, John's gonna get off so much on this when he hits us back later. <laughs> yep. So now we right. have to decide with a coin flip. <sighs> All right. All right. You've done heads three fucking times. You better do it again. <laughs> All right. Heads holo, tails Makima. Well, no, it did tails last time, so probability would say heads, yeah. Heads! <laughs> you played your game. That doesn't work. Uh, I... <laughs> you My up. game. It's Google. <laughs> All right. Dustin. Thank God. Just 
Listen, he was sweating. I, he, was he was sweating like bullets there, man. <laughs> he was sweating bullets. He almost started to ride. I did. All right, our next matchup is Amelia from ReZero versus <laughs> Erza Scarlet from Fairy Tale. All right, Amelia. hear me out. Oh, At least out. Amelia isn't just fan service. <laughs> hear me out, okay? Mm hmm. Amelia's a communist. And as yeah. a proud, red blooded American, I cannot get behind a communist. Okay. John, I'm so glad you brought this up because if you didn't, I was going to. <laughs> Due to that fact alone, and only that factor, not the fact that I also just hate ReZero, I'm going to go with Erza. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. You're looking at it from the wrong perspective. It's not about the communism. She's not just a waifu. She's our waifu. Our waifu. <laughs> oh, no. I'm being swayed. <laughs> I'm being swayed to the commie ways. <laughs> oh, I'm not changing my answer, though. No, it's a great can I, can I just say... Can I just say, in terms of specifically character design, Amelia's got a lot going for her, at least for me. White hair, like it. Elf, like it. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, Erza gets so many... She cosplays, bro. Like, what? Her Valkyrie but, outfit is pretty baller. <laughs> but! Redhead! Redhead! <laughs> He's fighting his own internal instincts. Bro, he doesn't bro, know bro. what to think. You can put a, a redhead wig on a cardboard. It's still a cardboard, you know. It doesn't change anything. <laughs> I mean, memes aside, I do think that Amelia is the better pick. Like, <laughs> yeah, me too. Like, it's a, it's a it is a no brainer. Like, listen, I like I like Erza. I I didn't like how Fairy Tale ended, but I didn't mind the journey to get there. Um, mm. It was kind of just middling all the way through, as far as shown in <laughs> goes. Like a great to be time. A, <laughs> yeah. Listen, it it had some potential, and then it kind of just gets muddied, and it kind of just continues on that downward trajectory. In oh, my so your average shonen, yeah, yeah your average shonen, uh, which is a shame. But yeah, I I just wanted to to make a meme and say commun communism. I can't vote to the co I can't vote for the communist. <laughs> Too bad. The communist. <laughs> I mean, won. I'm gonna I I'm gonna in this particular matchup, I'm picking Amelia. All right, three to one. All right. Next is Kaguya from Kaguya-sama oh, versus Rias from High School DXT. Kaguya. All right. To me, I it's Kaguya all the way. Like, listen, I like High School DXT. I mm -hmm. I like the designs and I love I love the assets, right? The assets. But, assets. you know, you got to think more than skin deep, okay? I think that Kaguya is a great character. Uh, I love her internal struggles, and I love the ending of the manga. Like, I, I love that she she is who she is. Okay. I'm not sure if... Natai, have you read the manga? I have not. But you've seen I've all the seasons. Anime. I've, okay. I haven't seen the, like, the movie. The I've movie? Seen the like three the... seasons. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, I will say this. You, oh, yeah. What? I, I have have you read the manga? You, you, yeah, you remember, finished it, bro, right? Bro, bro, remember? We were mess I was messaging you while uh, I was reading it. All right. And I hate to break reactions? this to you. I hate to break this to you, Chinoda. You're not the only person who asks me for recommendations and talks to me about manga and anime. <laughs> I have quite a line of people. There's <laughs> two other ones here. <laughs> betrayal. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're not special. I will say. Yeah. This. I've, you say, John. It's not. Sometimes it's not just skin deep but there are times it is <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> so i know we went back to akino versus Hi uh, hayasuka and i was like yeah of course akino is great but she's not as a good a character as hayasuka i like Kagu as a character but rias as just rias i don't mind man I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. I think she's great. I, I'll pick Rhea any day. Why all not? right. Okay. I'll be shallow. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> How brave of you, Natai. <laughs> yeah. It took a lot of courage to come out like that. You know, 
I, I'm not a fan of the first season of Kaguya. I've made this very clear. Yep. I've been told it gets a lot better. It does. And it may. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. But I'm going to judge my pick based solely on character design. And I'm going to pick Rias. Okay. Flip that coin. So I guess we got to flip a coin again. Yep. Coin well, probability dictates that it's going to run on tails. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to run on heads. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As right, the gotcha well, god himself, I am calling this. All right, heads, Kaguya, tails, uh, Rius. Uh, heads, the gotcha god himself. <laughs> I'm done with this fucking All episode. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of Kaguya, Sama, uh, our next matchup is Kauri from uh, Your Lie in April versus Chika from Kaguya Sama. All right. I need to say my piece. Okay. okay. It is no secret. Is it is no secret that I absolutely hate Your Lie in April. All right. Mm -hmm. Kauri from Your Lie in April isn't why I hate the show. I hate the main character. I actually think Kauri is a fantastic character. I actually would go so far as to say I love Kauri. Okay. However, Fujiwara from Kaguya-sama is the most annoying character I have ever met in my life where I'm like, you he is literally, a chaos goblin. you are the worst person I have ever met. Like she's, I like that she helps the president out a lot. You know, I think it's funny because it's like, she's a uh, Bakachiwa, right? She's oh, she's a dumb Chihuahua girl. Like she's the yap, yap, no, no brain. <laughs> That's right? a massive Chihuahua, bro. But you know, I gotta give this to Kauri because I think she's the better character. Yes! Like just <laughs> as much as I hate your lie in April, I like can I, Kauri. Can I, can I? Can I? Can I? Like give you a, a point again in Kauri's favor? She can play the violin. Oh, I thought you were gonna That's say cool. she's blonde. Chica I was like, yeah, can I know play she's blonde. The piano. That's so yeah. Much Chica's more Chica's actually like world renowned pianist. Like, <laughs> bro, I mean, she's. I mean, she is blonde though. But and she is but, blonde. I mean, Kauri's blonde too, as well. Like, I'm not. Oh, I was talking blonde, about Kauri. I was talking about Kauri. Yeah. So, I I know that <laughs> you may have expected me to vote against Kauri because of my hate for Your Lie in April. However, I think Kauri's a great character. <laughs> So I'm not yeah, I'm not as, I'm not as, I'm not that surprised because I know in the past you and I have talked about how you wish she was in a better show. I do. I wish she was in a better show. Um but I am surprised you picked her over Chica. Same. Listen, I like Chica. I love the Chica dance, all right? The memes, all right? It's hilarious when she's like dun, 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 dun. right? When she does the rap, it's hilarious. She's a rap goddess, she, bro. She's an actual rap god. All right? I like Chica. But I just think Kauri's a better character. Okay, and I'm, it's you know it's worth pointing out that good characters can be in bad stories. Yeah, I don't think that Your Lie in April is a bad story, but I love Your Lie in April. I don't but think I it's also a bad story, adore, but I just hate the adore. main character. So uh, fair enough. I adore Kauri. So Kauri. Yeah, all the way. Chica. He okay, voted well, you're Chica. Chica. Fuck you. <laughs> all right, next. We have a uh, Yukino from uh, Tanafu. That easy Don't for me to remember. To me. And this, Freerun. This is a from tough Freerun one. From Beyond New Journeys. This, right. sucks. this is super tough because on one hand, I didn't my my OTP didn't win, so like I feel like I should just vote out of spite because <laughs> my OTP didn't win, right? In which show? <laughs> in uh, in Tanafu. <laughs> you that was the joke, John. <laughs> The OTP didn't win in either of these. Shush, no what OTP? Yeah. There is no OTP in free run. What are you talking about? It's the one she regrets. Oh, kind of. I mean, yeah. I don't think I don't think that's the main story, like point of the story. No, it's free, not. But it's a, it's a silly joke. But go ahead. Listen, you're a silly, I, silly man. Yui, best girl, uh, from Snafu, no doubt in my mind. Actually, it's actually <laughs> Sensei. Senpai. It's actually Sensei, but. <laughs> We all but she was never on the Yui. table. <laughs> but we cry for Yui, right? However, I'm glad that uh, Yukino, I, I do like her story, right? I think Yukino from Snafu is not a bad character. 
Mm-hmm. But I am bitter about my girl Yui. <laughs> so I'm going to automatically vote Free Ren from Free Ren because I am salty. <laughs> <laughs> there is no logic other than I am salt. And I, I want to say just for Natai, because I know he absolutely loves Snafu, uh, there's no uh, Yui on this list. So see, you, I guess. Then no one <laughs> should win from Snafu. <laughs> then no. Oh. If, if I can't have Yui, Ren. if I can't have I, Yui, no one can have her. I love, I love my grandma. I love her. <laughs> Boomer yeah, elves, man. Heart. Boomer elves. I mean, it, the race of elves is in demand right now. That's all I got to say. And she I love hard arts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, she... <Whoa>. yeah, man. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> moving rapidly on from that free run. All right. Next is, is it Karumi or Kurumi from Kudumi. Data Live? Yeah. Kurumi from Data now, Live versus have, Miku. Has anyone here Quintuplets? actually watched Data Live no. other than me? Uh, no, no, I have not. Maybe when I was young. Okay. I, listen, um, it is it is a world I refuse to step in because, man, are there some rabid fans of Data Live. Uh, Kurumi is basically your stereotypical yandere. All right, I'm just gonna give you the preface. All right. Um, I still don't like her though, so I'm I'm not <laughs> voting. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, I, I I don't understand the popularity of Data Live. Like I don't like. It's in like its sixth season, isn't it? Yeah, and it's well, on, it's on its thing. it's on its sixth season and on its third different studio or something like that. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like it's just like uh, uh, initial D. Every season <laughs> is a different studio. Yeah, let's um, be honest. Let's be honest. Both these bitches are gonna be eliminated by the next round. So who cares? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it matters for this round. Natai. Whoever who whoever whoever wins is going to get up against Free Run, and I don't see any of these bitches being Free Run. Exactly. Exactly. I could see one beating Free Ren, but that's because I have a heavy bias. <laughs> but she's further down the list. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys understand who Kurumi is because I didn't think any I, any of you guys have watched it other than no. me. No, I, I think I think the Ty's friend Adiel in our server watches it though. Yeah, exactly. And I think every time he every time he learns there's a new season, he's like, Ugh, I gotta watch this shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm Miku. Yeah, Miku. I feel like, yeah, yeah Miku. Whatever. Sure, <laughs> Miku. Sure, sure. Miku from quintessential. This is just Blitz. sending lambs to the slaughter. To be honest. Yeah. Speaking of lambs right. to slaughter, oh. I hate yeah. Speaking this. of lambs oh. going to the slaughter, we have Bochi from Bochi the Rock. All right, and, John, uh, John, John. Hear me out, John. Mi- Mi- Hold on, let me okay. fucking tell him who it is. <laughs> and Misato from Neon Genesis Evangelion. God, at least let me get the fucking names of the characters out. All right, John. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is there really a question here? Let's there see. isn't. No. There, there isn't, isn't a question here. It's there obvious that we're all want to put up a fight. Jeez, I know. Perfect. I know we're all gonna vote Misato. Okay. I know this. I know this for a fact. All right. Oh uh, no, bro. I want to say though, I like Bochi quite a lot. You know, she's mm. just like me for real, for real. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Um, for real, for real. Her name's not even Bochi. It's Goto, isn't it? It's uh, Hitori Goto. Yeah, Hitori Goto. But they just call her Bochi. It's just easier saying Bochi because if you say it, everyone knows who you're talking about. Um, if I told you Hitori, you wouldn't know. Well, her name is Hitori Goto, but then the the pun is Hitori uh, Bochi, Hitori Bochi, which is like by yeah. yourself. Yeah. So that's like it's. On play on words. Anyway, I, I love the music in Bochi. I like Bochi's character because, again, she's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> uh, I think that she faces amazing growth in the show. I'm still going to say Misato. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I vote with my heart here. Misato. Because mommy. <laughs> because mommy. I'm sorry. Misato. Mommy. Ma- mommy. mommy. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> Listen, all, I, all I'm saying is Shinji fumbled. Shinji fumbled the easiest <laughs> goal of his life. <laughs> Thank God he did because you Misato deserved it better. You say that, but she did kiss him. Okay, so like, I've kissed a lot of girls too that I wanted to go further with. 
Jeez. <laughs> oh. It's a lost cause, I, Shinoda, except... It. I know. <laughs> <laughs> except the... I mean, let's be honest. Lo- this is on brand for Bochi's character. If we just eliminate her now, she'd want to be eliminated she now. She doesn't she, want the spotlight. She that, yeah. Oh, I love Bochi. She, as John said, she's just like me. For real, for real. But Misada, man. Many pre- right. <laughs> Many, many teenage nights, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you mean? You know what I mean. Disgusting filth. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I don't even yeah. know how to move on from that, but sure. Uh, Misato. <laughs> Misato, sweet. Yeah, Misato, yeah. Easy. Yeah, Misato. All right. Uh, bye, Bochi. All right, next, we have Lucy from Elfin Lead versus Shinobu from Demon Slayer. Oh. You know. Lucy. I don't really like Shinobu that much, to be honest. Um, I believe she's voiced by the same person who does Your Forger, right? Um, Yeah. um, 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 Fuck. I I love that actress. Um, It's uh, Ononoki from Onogatari. Um, It's... uh, uh, Sayo Harami? Say- Sayori ha- ha- Say- Sayori Hayami? Hayami. Sayori Hayami. Sayori Hayami. Sayori Hayami, yeah. Okay, yeah. She's awesome. Um, love her. I think Lucy's a better character. But this might be biases because Elfin Lied, Elfin Lead, however you say it, uh, was one of the first anime where I watched. was like, hey, yo, this ain't for kids. Hey, hey yo, yo, titties. Hey, yo. <laughs> they had titties in the OP. Uh oh my god the fucking uh Lilium is that what the song was yeah. called Lilium yeah Lilium. yeah amazing the fucking song. Gregorian chants amazing song and oh it still god. stands up today yeah I Lucy 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 listen I'm I'm voting Lucy just because ever since Demon Slayer came out if you if you just look up Shinobu on Google it's now this bitch instead of the real Shinobu the salt and hatred because what Shinobu did <laughs> I will no, I'll never forgive the Japanese <laughs> <laughs> alright Lucy alright speaking of clear winners in a matchup we have Hinata from Naruto versus I have to look up her name <laughs> uh, girl from Horimiya. It's Kyoko Hori from Hori. Horimiya. Yeah. Uh, Ho- yeah, Horimiya. Hori is the name of the character. God dang. Listen, I never watched it. It's cute. Uh, to me, it's a no brainer. You know, one of my original OTPs that won. All right. I've been back in Hinata since I was a, a wee young lad. Yeah. All right. Now we want to back into Hinata. Mm. I, there's a lot of things yep. I want to do to Hinata. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. A lot of things. I'm just saying, man. Naruto, you ever fumble that ball, man? I'm sh- like... Hey, He's plotting in the DMs. <laughs> yeah. For real, for real? Hinata, right? Yeah. yeah no, it's not not a... <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's even a done get to deal, speak. but yeah. I mean... <laughs> All right. There's no All right, and last matchup on this side of the bracket, I think it's also going to be a pretty obvious uh, winner here. But it's Nana from Nana versus what's her name from Gintama? Kagata. Kagata, thank you. The one and now, only shithead. I love Kagura. Also voiced by Ryu Kugamiya. I have a clear bias. I am going to stick to my bias, and I'm going to vote If I had Kagura. a dollar for every time you said I have a clear bias in this fucking bracket, I'd, <laughs> be so, I do. I'd be rolling it right now. Every single matchup, I do have clear biases, and that's why I hate brackets. I hate fights, because it's like there is no objective way to for me to to speak about who I think should win. Because, look, not as a good character. A great character, You say actually, that, but I managed to sway your mind earlier this episode, so, you know. That's anything true. Anything can happen. <laughs> anything could happen. But I'm going to be honest here. I don't care too much about Nana. I think it, it was a pretty great show, right? But the character <clears throat> Nana herself, do not care. Okay. I I like Kagura a lot more. Kagura? Kaguya? No, it's Kagura. Kagura. Yeah, Kagura. I don't have a dog in this fight, so Kagura I will abstain. Kagura is a menace. Abstain. And that's why we love her. 
Okay, I guess <laughs> yeah. the the clear winner is okay. Sure. All right. She won't now we last get to, now. Now, now comes the fun parts when we get to just, just oh. shit on all of our choices. All right. Megamine. So uh, hold on. So we got Tachibana from um, Angel Beats versus Megamine from Konosuba. It's I, Megamine. I am gonna vote Tachibana just because Ooh. I, if I were to rate Konosuba and Angel Beats against each other, I would rather watch Angel Beats compared Bro, to Konosuba. I don't give a shit about what you would rather watch. I don't care about your opinions on the waifus. I think Tachibana is a better waifu than Megumin. He's so aggressive. I disagree. I think Megumin is so much better. I think she yeah. has more personality. I think you know, she this is would, a better person. You, you might be able to sway me if I cared about your opinion. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Gonna, he's gonna already dead. <laughs> I know, bro. He's already dead. See, Natai can sway me. I, I respect that man's opinion. Alex, sometimes he can sway me. You, Chinoda? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, no, he can, but he leaves out the important details for last. <laughs> he'll recommend you true. things without telling you what's actually good about it. <laughs> He'll, he'll, he'll list off all this stuff about some generic isekai, and he's like, nah. And he's like, but Rie Kugamiya voices the main character. Real shit? <laughs> oh, for me, it's Megamine. Explosion lowly all the way. Natai? I'm sorry, John. Uh, you said it You said it yourself. If you would rather watch Angel Beats or Konosuba, I'll be honest. I'd rather watch Konosuba any day of the week. And I like the you Angel know what? Beats. That's fair. Yeah. I've only seen the first season of Konosuba. I I have not seen anything else outside of that. So Bro, you're missing out on some people. That's what people shit. keep saying. So you better pray that you're correct. Because if I watch the next season and the spinoff and I'm like, it's completely terrible and garbage. Bro, 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 bro. I'm you're all going to regret the it. I'll just tell you to watch season two and the movie and then we'll talk. That's what I'm going to say on the matter. Isn't season three? Out? Yeah, there's it's also yeah. the third season and the I just the, haven't the finished Megamine it, so I, like, I'm not gonna oh, okay. overhype that God one. But season it. two in the movie, he's Good only shit. speaking on the things that he's watched. You're lucky your wife's not in the room right now. <laughs> wow, what's she gonna trying do? to initiate violence? I was telling her to do something. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Megamine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next, we have Shiro from No Game No Life versus Violet Evergarden. This is a I'm no Violet competition Evergarden. for me. This is Violet. Violet, yeah, Violet all the way. Yeah. Yeah, Violet like... all the way. I love you, Shiro, but Violet is not enough. You have listen, listen, yeah, Shiro, not enough. You've got a you've got you've got a big brother to protect you. Violet is must protect. Anyway, yeah, Violet. All right, next. Haruhi versus Asuna. I feel like my pick is pretty obvious because I do not like Haruhi, so uh, <laughs> Asuna. <laughs> Asuna, like a lot of people hate Sao for one reason or another, but it does get better, and even no, more doesn't. than that, the, yes, it does. does. No, no, it, no, it, no, it, it doesn't. actually does, bro. Yeah, I've been there with the Asuna Americans involved. attacked. Okay, okay. Let, let, I was let there when the Americans attacked. It oh doesn't get better. <laughs> um, Asuna as a person does evolve. She gets to be better and better as a person, and I really like that. I like to see her uh, get happy over time. So, my word is for her. Man, I hmm. <laughs> Haruhi isn't even the best character in her own show, but I do love Kyoani. So this is the day that democracy dies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with it's thunderous, thunderous applause. applause. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm picking Asuna <laughs> All right. over Haruhi. <laughs> Sweet. If this was any other female character in Haruhi, I'd pick her. But, yeah, like if it was Mikuru, I'd be like, yeah, Mik Mik Mikuru, like yeah, I yeah. love her. All right, Asuna, Asuna, <laughs> the pain right. in Alex's voice. <laughs> All right, now listen. Again, no brainer. It's Holo. Like you Holo. can't sway me. There is no way you could sway me on this. You sure about that? A hundred percent sure. <laughs> Natai, save your energy. Save your energy. Listen, you can even try. I, I, it's I, not going to be I successful. Am, I am a bit of a fan of elves, but even I'm going to say Holo. I mean, 
Is do do you see Amelia back here? Do you see Amelia back here? No, no, you do not. Bro, that's just a wall over there. I don't see anything over there. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting. For We're waiting on you two. Yeah. Who, 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 what do we have to say? The obvious. Bro, I know I'm gonna vote for Amelia. <laughs> yeah, I know you're gonna vote for Amelia. Really? I know what I'm but... gonna vote for. Chinoda. It's hollow. Oh, yes! the upset! Yes! <laughs> Between the two of them, hollow is objectively and subjectively the better character. Look, she's so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> Get her smug face. <laughs> All right, it's so hollow. Thank Christ. All right. <laughs> now Alex is calm. Yes, calm. Oh, All right, no, Alex wow. won't beat the shit out of me. Next is uh, Kaguya uh, from Kaguya Sama versus Kaori from uh, Your Line April. I feel like this is no contest. Um, listen, Kaguya, I love you, girl. However, mm. as far as characters go, I think Kaori is a better character. Okay, I agree. I agree. Uh <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, it showed, are you the lone Kaguya simp? <laughs> I disagree because I think Kaori, her role was played and it was weak. It was a stereotypical, oh, Damn. she's going to die. And that's If I didn't know her. any better, I would assume you hated your lie in April. <laughs> what the I fuck? Don't, you, you know, know I don't. What the you fuck know you I don't. say to my face? <laughs> right in front of my crab rangoon? <laughs> How could you say All that right, with so a straight face? Kauri, right? Yeah, Kauri. Kauri is the winner. All right. Next is Freerin versus Miku from Quintessential Quintuplets. I'm sorry, God Miku. damn it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Boomer Miku. Elf. Like, no, no, Boomer Freerin. I, I can't. Grandma is over here stomping. Yeah. <laughs> she could stomp on me. All right. That was easy. I love you, Next. Miku. Goodbye. His... Misato from Evangelion versus Lucy oh, from... Man, this one is easy. This, this is this. easy. Easy. Misato was This way harder. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, listen, Lucy, I love you. However, Misato... Such good suffer porn. Such good suffer I'm porn. Not, no, I'm not saying... Elven Lead is a great anime. I think that if, as long as you're at least 18 years old, you should definitely watch it. You should definitely not do like me and watch it when you were like 14. Yeah, because I it's watched, not for fourteen-year-olds. I watched it in middle school. <laughs> no wonder we're so fucked. <laughs> All right, Misato clears. Yeah. Clears. All right, and speaking of clearing, Hinata from uh, yeah. Naruto versus. Uh, Good luck, Kagura? John. This is all yours. Kagura. I mean, this is. Listen, Hinata. Like what? <laughs> what Hinata, contest? Yeah. Easy. <laughs> what the contest? minute I saw Hinata was seated, I there was no doubt in my mind. Shit, I forgot Hinata might make the upset for this entire bracket. Shit. <laughs> <You Yeah. forgot. laughs> it's rigged. You know, I'm surprised it's I didn't rigged. see um, Matoko Kusanagi. Matoko yeah, you know, I was Kusanagi. surprised that she was not in the top sixty-four. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see the major here, so I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Neither is your from Spy Family. Well, you're um, saying cool. she was <laughs> the cutoff was 65th. 60th. Yeah, she was the 65th ranked on Mal, and I was like, that's hilarious. <laughs> Just missed it, but yeah, Hinata, let's go. All right, uh, now we got Megamine versus Violet Evergarden. Again, I I feel like I feel like it's an easy pick for me. Uh, I'm gonna vote Violet just because I I like her more. As I much love as I them love both. Megamine, I gotta go you gotta Violet. Choose, you gotta choose. I gotta son? go Violet on this. It's Megamine for me. I love her so much. I love her so much. She's an explosive, crazy lolly. I love that. Yeah, but you forget one important detail, Chinoda. Well, the cops not... are right outside. <laughs> <laughs> He's not darkness. <laughs> That is correct. And darkness isn't even on the list. That's how shit <laughs> that is she correct. is. Violet all the way, bro. She's the better Actually, character. all of you are wrong. Union clears. 
All right. Yeah, so Violet. Violet. Yeah, Violet. All right. All right, listen. What competition? It, Asuna, Asuna oh, versus on. Holo? Come on. Bro, this right bracket is so easy. <laughs> yeah. I, Are you actually of... going to pick Holo this time? You fuck. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> out of spite. Nice. Out, of, out of spite. <laughs> listen, I, I, I like Asuna. All right. I like the fights in SAO. I have been clear about that. I don't like the writing in SAO. I think the writing is freaking awful. Um, mm-hmm. But Asuna, she's all right by, in my book, you know. However, there is a clear winner here, and it's obviously Holo from obviously, Spice and Wolf. Yeah. yeah, it's an obvious win. All right, it's a stomp. <laughs> Holo is going to clear this whole thing. No, she won't. <laughs> uh, no, we don't know. Cowry Cal- from uh, your line, April versus Freerun. Freerun. So, Boomer Elf. Let me just say something. All right, you want the okay. girl who dies or the girl who lives forever? Just saying. Do you want the girl who makes I, you cry, or do you want grandma? I mean, who also can make you cry? <laughs> yeah, make you cry in different ways. I personally, I like, I get, like I said, I do like Kauri, but I think Free Ren is a more interesting character. I I like watching her development, you know, as she goes on her journey. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I love it. She's having her own hero's journey, and it's fantastic to be around to watch it. As much as I actually enjoy your Lion April. And I think it's a good anime that more people should watch. Free Rin comes from one of the greatest anime ever made. And a lot of it is because of her. <laughs> yeah, like in 10 years, right? Give it the 10 year treatment. Do you think people are going to still be talking about Your Lie in April versus Free Rin? You want to bet? For stuff like this, maybe, but not <laughs> for, I mean, for Your Lie in April, they'll be talking about it when they do matchups like this. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, for the record. For the record. <laughs> Your line April came out in 2015. It's coming up on 10 years. Yeah, that's true. I'm saying, that's and true. give Free Ren 10 years. I'm pretty sure people are still going to be recommending oh, Free Ren in 10 years. I'm totally with you on that one. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Your Lie in April, people still talk about it, but do people really recommend it? It's like, yeah, if you want to talk about what are some anime shows that are that will make you sad, it's like, okay, Anohana, Your Lie in April, uh, Rumbling Hearts, uh, Plastic Memories. Plastic Memories. God, that one was that, that one's rough. Clan, I don't think people Clanad. recommend Cl- so Clanad actually. They, do. Um, they still do. Clanad. So I was watching. Clanad has like an reading. asterisk on it. It's like you need to get through the first season. So the thing is, it used to be really popular back in the 2010s, but mm-hmm. recently, like in the later 2010s, not as much. Uh, yeah. There was a there was another poll where they're like top 10 saddest animes, and Clanad didn't even break top 10. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of getting forgotten now because it's so old. Yeah, unfortunate. It, it's it's very unfortunate. Yeah, like I I believe the number one was um was still Angel Beats, <laughs> which is weird because Angel Beats is like a good show, but I don't think it's even the best. Like uh, when that I think type of, of when I think of anime that make me like cry and that give me that sad, like my first go to is like Anahana. Same. God, love Anahana. Fucking awesome show. Anyway, uh. Free run, free run, yeah. free run. All right, bye. All right, Kari. Misato versus mommies. I mean, mommies. I mean, mommies. This hurts. Misato you versus know, Hinata. We have our first mommy, but now we have my favorite mommy. So, mm. it's this hurts me to say, but out with the old and in with the new. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm riding Team Hinata all the way. Like don't get me wrong, I liked well. Yeah, I liked Ava. I'll say, I'll say that. I I liked Ava. How it ended got me I've got opinions to say. Um and I like Misato quite a lot. However, I think Hinata from Naruto is just she's the goat. All right. Absolute goat. All right. Best mom. Listen. Hinata's the throat goat for me. Rider Listen die. here. Listen here. <laughs> you're a, you're just a bunch of boys. In a man's world. <laughs> I knew he was gonna go with this. I knew he was gonna go with this line. You don't understand. Thought. Listen, Misato is the the woman you 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 adore, and then you grow up and you're like, man, she like me for real, for real. You know, <laughs> I cry at night sometimes. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, I get that. I'm not perfect all the time. I get that. Oh, you view Misato as a kid. She's like, oh, she's amazing. 
She's so cool. She has this fast car. She's so hot. She has a penguin in her apartment. God damn, she's incredible. Then you realize she's a person just like you. And you're like, God damn, even though she's having all these hardships, she still gets to work. She's still this competent, confident woman who can kick all the ass she wants and everyone respects her. Even though she has her demons and even though she has her, you know, self-doubts, she still gets up in the morning. She still goes to work and then she comes back at night, cracks open a beer. And you know what? She's all right. She can get through it. She's a real one. I, Natalia, I have two massive holes in everything you just said. So one, she, she drives an. One, yeah, one, she drives an Alpine. That's a V six. It is not a fast car. Number two, <laughs> number two, counterpoint. She tongue kissed a fucking fourteen year old boy. We don't talk about that. That's that. We don't talk about that. No, 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 you no, don't we understand. Don't we were fourteen, and we wanted to be that fourteen year old yeah. boy. We were very jealous. Okay. <laughs> I'm just point, putting those two things out there that are definitely wrong, what you said. The thing about the car being fast is what got me the most. Listen, Her car listen, is definitely listen. not I, fast. I, I it's was... a fucking V6. Listen, listen. Give me a break here, bro. Doesn't matter. That's not the fucking point of my argument. argument. I know I can't sway John. I was aiming for you, Alex, and for Chinoda. I did my best. Oh, bro, bro, you weren't swaying me at all. See, <laughs> there was for, for me, maybe for, for me, listen, for me, my answer is is easy here. But I will say, I I could go with either and be happy. So God, there's no there's I no can't losing for me. Here. Get this bracket. Because <laughs> you're afraid she's gonna clear. No, I, I couldn't do that, bro. Like, not all the way for me. Like, God, I love her. Damn it. From childhood, from childhood, she's been here. She's been here. I mean, to be fair, I actually watched Ava before I watched Naruto. So even I mean, Ava came like, out before Naruto. So yeah, again, a show I watched way before I was ready to. God, a twelve-year-old should not be watching Evangelion. Um, yeah, I feel like Ava came out and people were like, "Oh, well, it's got robots fighting, and that's for kids. Let's let kids watch it." And it's like, no, then, right? no, it's not. Um, but yeah. It's Hinata for me. Um, and, you know, as much as Boruto kind of sucks, at least we get to see she does become a good mom. Like, a genuinely great mom. So Bro, that's she cool. She doesn't become a good mom. She becomes a MILF. <laughs> well, yes. She does, but I'm talking about a great mother to her children. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> anyway. All right, Hinata. Next. Oh. 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 This is rough. Oh, this so is rough. Easy. I all right. It's bullshit. It's gonna be. It's gonna be holo for me. It's not. I'm not even gonna like sugarcoat it. This is rough for me because I do love holo quite a lot, but I also but you love really, Violet. I also really love Violet. Like and you love the a, the show Violet Evergarden. Yeah, I I feel like. But I also love the, the Spice and Wolf show. You know. It's, oh, I yeah. absolutely love Spice and Wolf. Oh my god. And the remake that's this... like right at, just coming out. Are you trying to sway me to say Holo because you don't want Violet <laughs> to win? What the fuck, bro? I don't know what you said. No, what? <laughs> this man, like a little devil, speaking my ear. <laughs> bro, have you seen this those is... new designs in the remake? They're just like novels. <laughs> have you? I know the light novel design is amazing. And the voice actor for Holo is amazing, but so is Yui Ishikawa as Violet. I, you know what? I don't want to abstain. I want to vote, but this mm -hmm. might be a coin flip for me. Oh, okay. wow! This is gonna okay. have to be a coin flip because I like these two characters that much. Let's see. I. Okay. Do you want to do the coin flip now, or you want to wait until the end? I mean, you vote Holo, Chinoda. Yeah. Do I even need to do no. a coin flip? Are you guys gonna decide for me? <laughs> what? I'm I'm voting Violet. What are you talking about? Okay. Okay. All right. I love Violet. She has a complete story. She has a complete character arc, and like I loved watching. So does her. Holo. What? Oh, it's because you I don't mean, read yeah, the light sure. novel. <laughs> I was like, what? What are you talking about? Well, I haven't watched the Spice and Wolf at all. So, well, I have, but when mm. I was young and like only little bits. Like I appreciate Holo, obviously. Like I, I, she's cool as shit. But Violet, she's just next level. She she touched my heart, man. She touched that. That's yeah, fair to say. I vote Holo. 
Oh, <laughs> it hollow. Mm-hmm. Natai just wants to be a shit starer. This makes it interesting if you do a coin flip because if you flip it and it's violet, that means we got to do another coin flip to to, to for the All tie. Right. Set it up. Set it up, Alex. Flip the coin. What, Who do oh, I see, vote for? Oh, do you want me to do the coin flip for you? Do it. Yeah. Okay. You pulled so up, you want to do heads for violet, tails for holo? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. I'm calling it tails. Tails! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Holo moves on. Unfortunate for violet. All according it's to plan. Though. It's a respectable All according matter. to plan. All according to Keikaku. All right. Uh, so next is Freerin versus Hinata. Come on, Shinoda. Your recency bias is that strong. I know it. Hinata. <laughs> Ain't no it's way. Hinata. It's Hinata. No, I told you from childhood. It's mm. Hinata. Okay. Now, both All of right. these both of these characters now are old enough to be mothers. So I'm just putting that out there. All right. In the tie, you're obviously going to choose Freerin. Because all right, all right. I'm Freerin from Freerin. Hinata from Naruto. Mm. All right. Well, Alex. Well, yes. Oh, it's tough for me. I love both of these characters. Um, Hinata, always the ride or die girl. Great mom. Fantastic hips. Um, childbearing hips. Them childbearing <laughs> wow. hips, man. Um, might surprise some people. I'm going to go with Freerun. Ooh. I'm going to go with Freerun. Is All right. Up? I know, All right. I, mean, up? I, I, I love, I love Hinata, but man, do I just, I love Freerun's character so much because I feel I, like she's more than just like good mommy material. Like she's like a genuinely good, well-rounded character. I think it's cheap because Freerun is a main character. Hinata is a side supporting character. Okay. That's true. She doesn't get nearly enough development. All right. I don't know if it's a recency bias, but personally, as much as I love Hinata, I've got to go with Freerun. Damn. Ooh. Honestly. Damn, so it is Freerun. Freerun. You sabotaged Freerun. yourself. Oh, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> I voted from the heart. Man. Freerun displaces Hinata. That, 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 that is shocking. But this means... That the semifinal matchup on the right side of the bracket is now Holo from Spice and Wolf versus Freerun from Freerun Beyond Journey's End. I'm gonna abstain. Have fun, boys. Okay. <laughs> no boys you coward! Coward! Coward. Absolutely All right. coward. He abstains. I think my choice. answer here is obvious. I'm just. Mm-hmm. It's Holo. All right. All right. My answer is Freyrin. I okay, yeah, I, I, I saw that coming a mile away. So I I am the tiebreaker. Yes, All right. you are, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> you know, I have a clear bias on Alex. who on this podcast. <laughs> Look at Alex tweaking out. He can't handle He's it. Like, oh man! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> you know, I want to say my vote doesn't mean. I like this person, this host, more than the other host, okay? It's oh, not no. personal, all right? It oh, is it's not a personal, personal. kid. <laughs> this, is about the most, personal. this is about the waifus, that's all. This has always been about the waifu. <laughs> and I have to give it to <laughs> Alex, <laughs> calm down. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he's losing it. He's losing it. Alex is about to who shit come and die. Uh, I'm gonna have to say recency bias wins. You know why? Oh! Do you know why? Hmm. Because free one was like two seasons ago, bro. It's hollow. She has no! the anime out right now. <laughs> the absolute oh, see- look of disappointment. Holo. That you got okay, played. Okay. Look at okay. the, Look at Chinoda. He just got robbed. <laughs> Bro, Alex was sweating. He thought there. when I said recency <laughs> bias, I meant uh, free run. Boy, free run's two seasons old. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you know, it is. It is funny because I put uh, put a picture of Holo from like the old anime on here. Yeah, I know why. What the heck? I think because Mal hasn't updated it, right? Well, yeah, this is her. This is like the default thing that Mal has for her character on 
on the site, so that's why I picked it. So that was a roller Polo. coaster of emotions. Holy shit. That was a really roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Wait, so what right. you're saying is now it's time for All right, the so main now it, event. It is, it, is, <laughs> it is time for the main event. It is time for the final. That means with Holo moving on, our final is Hitagi Sinja Gahara from the Monogatari series versus Holo from Spice and Wolf. Now, I know I don't have to ask Natai's opinion. I know who's, who he's going to vote for. Yeah. All right? I think he's going to vote for Hitagi. I personally out of these women would rather choose holo no. i would rather choose holo i i you know what the heart explain wants yourself. what the heart wants Peasant. i i <laughs> explain myself Peasant. because i know future knowledge about spice and wolf because Fuck. i have seen the character right i am obviously more invested in spice and wolf than i am monogatari Okay. I understand that you two have read and have you read guys read the novels as well as I've read, I've, read, I've read the Monogatari novels. He has not. The books, not all of them. Okay. But you guys have done all of the anime except the currently airing ones. Yes. Yeah, we've done spoiler cast for all of the currently airing ones, so yeah, we've watched all of it. So I have a clear bias against Hitagi because I know more about Holo than I do her. Okay. Okay. Because I am not up to date on uh, Monogatari, <coughs> so you know people may be upset with that because it's like, how can you vote on something that you you don't know the complete completency, completionency, whatever. Bro, welcome word, to the anime community. Of. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giving uninformed opinions <laughs> based on <laughs> feelings—that's <laughs> exactly what the anime community is all about, and that's why I got to vote for Holo. I got to follow my heart, man. God damn. I mean, you know how I'm going to vote here. <laughs> he tugged you. So it's, it all comes down to Chinoda. Would it be cowardly of me to abstain? It would be. Yes, it would be very oh. cowardly. <laughs> Especially Actually, no, it wouldn't, because that means Holo wins. I think you should do that. You I think, you think it would be... Up for chance? Okay, hold on, hold on. i got to think about this. Oh, he's no, got to ponder his headphones off. He took his headphones off. Are you pondering off. what I'm pondering? <laughs> dude's actual deep in thought oh my god <laughs> yeah for those of you who are, are, are audio only like chinoda is like i can see the smoke rising from the top he of his took head. off his ear right ear earmuffs he's literally oh, thinking earmuffs? you realize he's that oh he's, he's 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 pinching his brow he took off the glasses oh my lord you realize if he picks itagi then he leaves it up for chance who wins this bracket war and i think that would be a lot more entertaining Agreed. But if he picks Holo, he can't hear me right now. But if he picks Holo, I might just palm him a hundred dollars when I meet him in <laughs> at Otakon. I call bullshit. I call this is rigged. This voting has been rigged. Uh, I am calling into question the integrity of the host of this podcast. Look, I'm I'm trucking in ballots as we speak, man. <laughs> I demand a recount. Rigged. <laughs> he he's still thinking about it. Oh. Oh, glasses. he's putting the glasses back on. He's putting the glasses on. Oh, oh, now no, he's no grabbing headphones his yet. chin. Okay. He's he's got he's got his. his I've never his seen hand Chinoda over his mouth. in so much thought for that long period of time. <laughs> I know over a waifu. <laughs> I mean, he's the real. How woman. could he possibly vote Hitagi if he's never seen? Oh, 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 he's coming back. All right, all right, he's coming back. Headphones back on. No matter what I choose. It's not against anyone. Let's keep this in mind. <laughs> Purely about the waifus. Mm -hmm. Both of these are <laughs> extremely strong. Very well-rounded characters. Quality. Individually and in their shows. Beautiful. Intelligent. <laughs> Quit tickling our balls and just vote, <laughs> man! <laughs> Are you gonna take the cowardly way out? We're gonna make it interesting, Chinoda. <laughs> the gonna cowardly way out. Or a bitch. <laughs> uh, 
as you guys said, I'm a furry. <laughs> no! But when it comes to this, I think it's the other. I think Hitachi is better <laughs> oh! just by that oh much. God. All right. I Does think it's mean? only fair and prudent that if we're going to do a coin flip, it has to be best of five. Two out of three? No. Best Ooh. of five. Okay. okay. Three, best three out of five. Best three Bro, out of five. we're milking this episode All right. dry. I know. We are. All right. We've been recording for think... almost three hours, too. <laughs> All right. Hitagi will be heads. Holo okay. will be tail. Okay. All right. I think the drop order is going to be tails, head, head. And then probably <laughs> this max fucking meta gaming. <laughs> I'm gonna... tails head head tails head. In I think words, that's the five draws. Draws. Get on with it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I would like to say what what John doesn't know is as he's been talking, I have been flipping this coin about thirty times. So oh, <laughs> to reset the algorithm. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking my probability. <laughs> All right, it's Probably best right. The engine. best th best three out of five. Hitagi heads, holo tails, right? Right. Okay. Yep. All right. Flip number one. Here we go. Tails. Tails. Okay. Yeah. Right. Flip number two. Heads. heads. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three. Tails. tails. Oh. Okay. All right. Come on. All right. The flip number four. <laughs> Heads. Oh, oh all right. Oh, 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 actual 50 50. All right. Here we go. Number five. Believe in power of crab. Yes! 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 Oh, my God. It's Jover. It's so Jover for you all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is my wife flipped that coin three times before we did started <laughs> uh, oh my god yes oh like how i was able to call almost all of the coin flips <laughs> the entire episode <laughs> it's almost like go. this was rigged <laughs> it is rigged look at that a cad's a cad's winner of the <laughs> mouse top the 60 the mouse top 64 waifu bracket challenge is holo from it's spice holo. and wolf alex make yes sure save that oh garbage. i will the I, def I definitely taking will. over right. <laughs> i definitely will and i'll be sure to once this episode goes up i don't know if i'll do it right as the episode goes up but um i'll be sure to post this bracket in our discord server somewhere um but yeah i will in be your saving dungeon it. for um, shame Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm fucking. I'll print this out and fucking frame it right behind me. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> All right. Well, that took a little longer than I thought it would, but uh, I hope everyone uh, enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed the outcome a lot. Lies. I like that this we left it to happen. chance, though. I, 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 I would rather <laughs> this was rigged. This was rigged. We shouldn't have allowed Alex to flip the yes. coin, who was a biased <laughs> participant. <laughs> <laughs> hey it was left up to ones and zeros man what, what can i say the man who flipped it 30 times <laughs> yeah i to listen, get rid I of my probability calculations <laughs> that made it more random though it did come down it to did. the wire I, I did appreciate it did that. come down to the I, wire it was like it was like watching game seven of the world series and the games on the line in the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> it was so exciting Anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, let us know how shit our waifu taste is down below. <laughs> uh, also, be sure to like uh, and subscribe if you like what you saw and want to see more. As I said at the beginning of this, this was um, a episode that we put together based on a uh, suggestion from someone in our Discord server. So you can join our Discord server. Uh, it's linked down below as well. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by to watch us do this. We also have our merch store linked down below as well, where you can buy Anime Club After Dark merch if you want to help us out that way. Um, but with all that being said, I have been your host, Alex, and we will see you next time. Say goodnight, everybody. Good morning, night. everybody. It's 4 a.m. I can finally eat dinner. Oh, God. Oh, my God, yeah. it's 4 a.m. Jesus Christ. Just